Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Planet Icarus. It's, uh, it's been a little while. Got sick. Didn't stream a lot. We didn't get back to Icarus, so when we started that last mission with Nate, we got down to the planet and, like, built a whole base and everything, and had all this stuff gathered up. And I got sick. So, fortunately, I did come back and uh, get myself off the planet before the mission ended, but it was a seven-day timer on that mission, and then with the release of... Uh, Dying Light coming out. This past week I've been focused on Dying Light, so we're finally getting back to the planet to do some more mission work, but we're gonna have to start that mission all over again, unfortunately, because <laughs> I would have I would have died if I'd stayed there, so here we are, fresh all over again. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far, or if you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. Hope everyone is having a good weekend so far. Happy Saturday, or I guess uh, Sunday if you're on the other side of the planet from me. We're going to be doing the same mission we did last time, uh, but obviously we're going to have to start all over fresh again because, um, you know, I, I ran away with my tail between my legs, uh, so to speak. <laughs> uh, big thanks as always to everyone who's clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I do appreciate the support and a special thanks to all of our top tier mistakes are made members that were highlighted right at the start of the stream. This is the mission we're tackling, Avalanche Expedition. Uh, tonight's stream, because of the, the equipment and stuff, we're going to need to actually do this mission. We have to produce our own fuels and things. They're going to give us the drilling equipment, because we have to drill through some, like, collapsed avalanche thing. But we're going to have to produce our own fuel, so we have to build up. And because of that, tonight's stream is probably going to be all just set up again, yeah, gathering materials. pressure to up their exotic shipments. They want Legos pushing into new zones, like yesterday. Places no one's been. Cold places. I ain't gonna lie to you. This one's about as risky as it comes. They'll be dropping some ice cutting gear down to you, but exotics screw with signals up there, so expect a mess and zero intel. But hey, at least you'll be the first. Maybe name something after yourself. Like the whole planet, maybe? Let's name the whole planet after myself. That'd be awesome. Welcome to Planet Fox. There's a severe tax in visiting. Uh, we have uh, the same equipment we had last time. Nothing special or new here. I did have like 300 credits that I could have spent on something, but I didn't know what to buy. And I don't know if there's anything in that price range that's worth getting anyway. So we're just going to go back to the same equipment we had too. Time was had by all. So probably we'll be playing this both tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, so I can try to get through the mission. I don't want to leave another one on the planet here. Uh, and then probably on Monday night I'm going to go back to playing some uh, some more Dying Light 2. Because I've been having a lot of fun with that game. Uh, and I want to keep uh, keep progressing that as well. And see if we can get all the way through it. Ashley with the super chat. Support your local bears and wolves. May they eat. <laughs> well thanks Ashley. No, they don't have to eat me though. They could eat like other wildlife. Theory. Super chat as well. Cryptic Fox, are you sure that your tail was tucked between your legs? Or do you not know of a bear or a fox tail with a Oh, well. I mean, I might have eaten my tail, but. Because Group 15's last weapons test brought down half a mountain in your path. The bad news is the delivery drone got pasted by a storm. Oh. Crash zones marked on your map. Still, you came to Icarus for adventure, right? I imagine that's what we're getting. How's that going for us? So, I think we dropped in pretty much the same spot as we did last time. I think. The cave we were in was like up here somewhere, I think, right? And there's like another one a little bit farther up the river that had just insane amounts of stuff. There was a patch that came out the other day. So, uh, things are going to be a little bit different in the game from when I played last time, I think. They increased the ores. Uh, they also, I think, set it up so that... Getting that tier 4 bench doesn't require the same amount of materials. Oh, and thanks for the super chat, Ryan. I can't remember if I said thanks or not. Appreciate that. Nate did get his character off the planet, but technically not before permadeath. I don't know how it works exactly, but... Uh, there's a button when you're selecting your character that allows you to remove them from whatever mission you're in. And even though the mission timer had already ended and technically he should have been dead, it still let him do it. So... Score one for the good guys. No, the good guys being us homicidal maniacs who are, you know, always trying to kill each other. <laughs> it is what it is. 
The insane cave you're referring to now has fish. Is it is it actually classified as a cave now? Because before it wasn't, and that uh, obviously led to uh, weird circumstances in there where like you didn't have shelter from storms and stuff when you're inside that cave. Kind of wacky. Well, let's go with the super chat. Bears eat you since you set the forest on fire. Listen, listen. I didn't set the forest on fire. I was preparing a small barbecue that needed a big fire to cook it. That's all. I was just making a sandwich, and I needed to cook some meat first. It's called cooking. It's not forest fire. It's cooking. Go try it at home. No shelter still. Okay. So, obviously, I was kind of hoping we could just set up shop in that cave, uh, since all the good stuff is in there, but uh, clearly that is not going to be an option, so I guess we'll make do with the other cave we had. If I can go find it. I might as well, might as well set up initially in that cave again, same as we did last time. It's just a little bit easier than having to build a whole structure out of wood, which I'm then going to either replace or break apart, possibly set on fire and burn down. Uh, I don't remember how we got there. I remember where I am. A place where I don't know where I am. Maybe it didn't drop me in exactly the same spot. I don't even know. Not a cave. I know it was a bit of a... Oh, no. It be up this way. Maybe it dropped me in a slightly different spot. Oh, God. I don't remember. I feel like the cave was at the like in C4. Maybe. Yeah, here we are. It was. Uh, I think my original drop point was over here in C4, not in B4. All right, we got reoriented. Don't worry. I don't have the maps up or anything because you know, why be prepared? Prepared? We don't know none of their preparation stuff. C4, you sank my battleship. Listen, you're not supposed to play with C4, but some of us don't listen. Is it over there? So confused right now. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? Since I can't remember, I'm just gonna pull up the Icarus maps. And uh we'll do it that way, because that'll make that'll make the guesswork significantly less guessy. You know? By just like not guessing such. Wait a minute, why does this not have what? Change the map. It doesn't have the grids. Oh, there we go. I finally loaded it. <laughs> You're doing to me, game. Okay. It was actually at the bottom of C4, so I was thinking of a different spot. Good to know. Good to know. So the place we want to go is uh, actually over here. I'm, I'm headed in completely the wrong direction, which is why it looked all different. Yeah, I'm really speedy when I'm not with Nate. <laughs> I've got a couple of the uh, the single player traits that I had picked up before I realized that they were not going to work when I was playing multiplayer with Nate. And so, whenever I play with Nate, I'm a little bit slower because I don't have like the extra 10% speed boost or something I got. I'm like Grease Lightning. Fast to scare myself. Well, they can you can get slightly different drop spots, but not. Like, you, you won't get, like, really dramatically different drop spots, you know? Well, the cave is over here somewhere. So, like, it, it put us down, like, slightly farther afield of where we were before, but we're still in the same general area. Because it's the same mission, so it has the same, you know, the same playable map kind of thing. Hey, Mags, how you doing? Check the southwest corner of C4. It's actually uh, the southeast corner uh, of C4 that I'm going to. Southwest corner of C4 is uh, there's like an exotics deposit over there, I think. Uh, which I can't gather yet because I'm, I don't I don't have stuff. Oh, I'm out. the cave is like right here. That's where I'm going. All right, we got this. I can remember how to play. You are the one that forgets how to play. Not me. <laughs> it's been a bit. I have a memory like a sieve. Oh, poor little animal. 
That chamois all washed up. <laughs> nah. Probably should have got a bench ready. We'll do that when we get in the cave, I guess. Uh, I was. I mean, I, I meant to, what I mean to say is that I probably should have brought that with me so we could use it on a bench. That's what I meant. Hey, Still Snow, how you doing? Massive exotics. Ooh, those are the ones we have to like drill out of the ground, right? Like not just the ones we can big, we can smack with a big hammer and get all happy joy joy. Kind of thing. Ah, I hear a bear. I don't like bears. Not with this weapon. Right, with other super chat, just so you know, uh, just so you and people know, the devs changed some mission in the mission select menu with blue around them, and those, uh, allow non-character permanent death. Yeah, so they actually say, they'll say on them, um, insurance. And so any mission that says it has insurance means that, um, you don't have to worry about permadeath. Uh, if you leave your character on the planet. So it's a little added protection. Why did all three have to come out at once? And with this bow, I can't possibly kill him fast enough. Now he got me. Leave me alone! If there's one thing I hate about cave bases, it's worms. Nobody likes worms. Oh, buddy. Except maybe wormologists. You know, those scientists that study worms. Very, uh... Very deep field of study. Ah, oh, God! Oh, he got me anyway. Oh, I can jump over it. Oh, God, I'm gonna die. Ah! Oh, God, I don't want to die! Save me, Jeebus! Um... Can I eat, like, a whole stack of this stuff? Consume stack. That gives me no health. That's right. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Low health. Okay, we're not gonna die. We're not gonna die. We're all right. We're all right. <laughs> he just like me. The first time I come back to Icarus, I get myself killed within, like, ten minutes. Are you not entertained? The worms are after you, I love them. <laughs> they're not really after me so much as they're in front of me. Just kind of more of a problem, really. Love to know how this plant grew inside the rock, but it's okay, we'll save it. I rescued that plant. It owes me now. It owes me. Uh, I'm gonna build a campfire right here at the entryway, just cause, I don't know, reasons. I need to cook some meat, I gotta heal. I don't heal? And I won't be healed. You know what I'm saying? How's well, things? What do you have for dinner? I'm waiting on an excellent pizza myself. Hey, Laird. Uh, things are good. Feeling better. Still got a bit of a cough sometimes, but uh, I'm feeling dramatically better than I was, so pray for that, I guess. My voice is getting a little bit more back to normal, which is good. Please build outside, not in a cave. Well, I'm gonna do like my initial benches and stuff inside the cave because it gives me shelter that I can use like right away. These little sticks are not gonna last. Ugh. Uh, all right, we'll chop some trees down so I have a little bit of wood to work with. I just want to avoid having to build in wood before moving to stone because it's it's kind of a lot of extra building time, a lot of extra building materials. So if I can skip it by building in the cave initially. Get quick access to iron and stuff, so we can make nails. Then that will save me some additional building time in our prep work. I don't have the dehumidifier thing that keeps the worms from spawning back in, so I, I ultimately want to move out of the cave. I want to stay in there, but I do need uh, do need some initial shelter anyway. Give me shelter is a good song. I don't know if I know that song. I love building in caves. Well, the caves make it really easy, aside from the worms, I guess. Space is a little bit of an issue, depending on the cave you're in, but... What we should do is... set up shop in that cave up north that has all the crazy number of nodes in it, and still counts as being outdoors, because there's no worms. No bears in there, either. I think. There's not bears in there, is there? Please say there's no bears. 
Finding Silica and Icarus while watching? Icarus. <laughs> it's, uh, my inception there. Alright, we got food. Look at that, I'm not gonna die, everyone! Hooray! As I eat this, I get mauled by a bear. Just you wait. Alright, well, it's not great, but I got some nutritional value out of that. I have a lot of stuff on me now, though, that I... Oh, I need oxygen. Uh, all right. I'm gonna go to the cave and see if we got rid of the worms. So sometimes when you leave a cave, the worms that were yeah there they are. See the worms that were farther back that would have spawned. Uh, why can't I shoot you? Uh, I might. What is going on? Am I at arrows? <laughs> uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, turns out if you're going to shoot critters in the dark. Arrows are, sort of, necessary. I don't to go to max, but it can't type. What's going on there? There we go. Oh, my num lock wasn't on. Don't mind the worms. Gives me an excuse to drag my butt on the carpet. Oh, I see. Cryptic fox say bears. I heard a bear already. I don't know. I don't know if I really heard it or not, or I just, like, phantom heard it. Because I'm worried about them, you know? It's really dark in here. Like the dark. Just me. Me. There we go. That worked better. Victory and such. Fast as fast can be, you'll never catch me. Hee hee hee. <laughs> Please have bears nearby. Yogi and his sidekick are just waiting for their fox sandwich. Oh yeah, nothing more tasty than a fresh fox sandwich. Patent pending. Alright, the worms are done. Got rid of the worms. I took some of that ivermectin stuff. We're all good now. I can, uh... Make a bench in here. Please, YouTube, don't, uh... Don't block my stream now because I said a bad word. <laughs> Without bone arrows, the, the worms are a little bit tougher. You gotta shoot them like three times because they have more than 300 hit points. I don't know the exact number they have anymore. They had 300 exactly at one point. Then they decided, hey, you know what? Let's, uh, let's do something interesting, like change it. Bunch of jerks. I mean, wonderful devs. Very nice devs. Uh, I'm gonna make one of these so I can get my oxygen. No, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> All right. Okay, Raggy. I wanted the oxygen thing, but I need more leather, I guess. I guess I'm gonna have to make do with, uh, breathing some of this oxide for now. I was trying to, like, skip using the oxide and, like, go straight to the oxygen production. But I didn't work fast enough. I need more leather. Now it's gonna storm. Now I got pneumonia. All right, just as I'm leaving. Rotten pneumonia. Don't be here twice if you're for your worm. Yeah, I don't need no worms. Don't believe in phantom bear sounds. Is all sounds are yeah. Well, for now and then I hear it's. It can even could just be wolves that I hear, but. It's one of those things where I'm expecting the bear, and so therefore it sounds like bear. Might not be bear. But it sounds like bear. Put an arrow in his butt. I need a stronger bow. Need to upgrade. Where's that blood? I, I know I hit him. He's got to have blood around here somewhere. Is that you again? That's the one. All the great side effects. <laughs> Listen, we got rid of the worms. That's what I wanted. That's what the medication is for. Sounded like bear a lot last when you were dying. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh my god. 
you know, I'm having a lot of fun with Dying Light 2. It doesn't seem to have been a particularly popular game for me to stream, which is kind of weird being a new game out, but... Um... Oh, God! <laughs> God dang, bear! Go, 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 go! Oh, God, he hit me. I'm bleeding. To those people who say you can swim backwards faster than a bear, I say this is evidence that suggests that may not be accurate. I can't knife underwater? What's going on? Do I not have stamina? Don't eat me, bear! I, I mean, he's, he's not catching me, I guess. Oh, can the bear drown? I, I hope the bear can drown. Oh, oh, stupid bear! I needed to keep going straight, but I was going across the water. As soon as I turned, he got me, rotten freaking bear. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's our first bear death. I was reading chat, and then next thing I knew, it was in my face. Not in a nice way, either, you know. I don't have a bed put down. We gotta redeploy. <laughs> He's, I swear to God, if that bear camps my body, I'm gonna be upset. The minute I'm talking about bears, that's when we run face first into one. <laughs> Stupid game. It sucks. Oh, what are you gonna do, I guess? Man, YouTube's got this weird uh, data issue going on where they can't tell me how many people are actually watching the stream. Sometimes it says, you know, 200 and something. Other times it says I've got two. I know it's not just two. I can see at least three people talking. Where am I? Where's my body? And I came back with lacerations, of course. <laughs> At least two of them are real, yeah. <laughs> Fluctuates, but yeah. Very confusing. That's with Super Chat. This is how we know Ashley isn't here tonight. I think Ashley is here tonight, isn't she? I thought I saw her already. Maybe I missed it. Or, I missed it, but maybe I uh, mistook it. In my body. Be cold and alone without my body. It'll be nighttime soon. I don't have anything set up because I'm done to screw around so far. Actually, the super chat to the bear that ate fox. More to come. R.I.P. He actually still here. She got to experience the fun. She's like, now it's a stream. <laughs> uh, eat these, I guess. Buffs going. I get them stamina. Where's my body? I know it's in this water here somewhere. I don't see it on like the uh, heads up display or something, but it's like invisible. My body's invisible. Will it show me underwater? There we are. That's what I was expecting. Is he really silent? My body's bear poop, yeah. Well, as long as he poops out my tools and I have the opportunity to collect them, I guess I'm okay with that. And where? No. Wait, there it is. That's my stuff. It's so weird to be in a game where you don't have to worry about how long you're underwater for. Really a game like that? Is that, is that a thing? <laughs> uh, while I'm under here, can I drink? No, I can't. I gotta be on that. Well, that's weird. Okay, so I can breathe underwater. And I can drink water in my suit, but I can't drink in the suit when I'm underwater. Because that would be wrong, people. Wrong. Alright. Well, that sucked. What was I even looking for when I went out there? Oh, leather. That's a bear. That, that's a bear? He's sunning himself? Like a big, fat jerk. I'm going, I'm going the other way. I'm not messing with that guy. Not with this bow. Not with these arrows. Not with my poor constitution. I need to heal myself. Uh, suture kit. Alright. Now we're ready to continue murdering innocent woodland creatures. That bear was in no way... Karma. 
for all the other slaughtering and murder we're about to unleash upon the world. <laughs> I love that. I kill like a hundred creatures and, I, and then like a bear kills me and I'm like, no, it's not fair. Why? <laughs> I need something cute and cuddly to shoot. Wolves will do. They've got fur. I like fur. Move to the mega cave. No worms, no debuff. Uh, also, no shelter from storms until I have a building. So, I mean, my intention is to move there because it'll be an incredible place to gather resources and build stuff up. Like, we'll be able to get stuff built up faster than we otherwise would have built stuff up. I don't, you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, it'll be good. But. First, I want to get to the point where I'm, like, making things. Although, actually, you know, maybe it will move right away. Because when I, if I got to carry all those benches and everything all the way up here, because it's in, like, that cave's in, like, C3, I think. It's up here. That's where the cave is. So if I got to haul, like, a bunch of stone pieces and things up there, maybe I will move ahead of time. We'll just make a stone or a wood structure in there. And then we'll upgrade it, I guess. It'll be fine. It'll be whatever. <laughs> How much leather I got? 95. Alright. I got enough leather to get what I wanted anyway. The oxygen machine. And that reminds me, I probably should get more oxygen. <laughs> Don't you mean, can you explain in a more vague way? Oh, um, yeah. Uh, I do the thing with the stuff, and then things happen, and it's either good or bad. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll go build a shelter in the big cave. There's just so many good resources there. I guess it, it will make sense to do it up there, I guess. On the way, we'll get some O2. Oh, actually, I gotta be careful about how much I'm carrying. I gotta go pick up my crafting bench. We'll take that with us. I need my campfire. I need the wood that I already harvested, because I'm too lazy to do it a second time. <laughs> Even though we're doing the whole mission a second time. I heard that bear. Or it is, though. Maybe it was the buffalo. Maybe I heard the buffalo. It was the buffalo? Let it be the buffalo. Suddenly, rabid bear just, like, comes launching out of the river. Being, like, flying kung fu somewhere, somersault kick things or something. Alright. Let's get all this. Countdown to Elder Ring. Oh, I'm looking forward to playing that. I really like the whole dark. You know what? I'm going to leave the stone here. I'll get more stone over there. The wood, I, however, I, no, I won't bring the wood. I need. Wow, I'm super duper overloaded. Oh, that's why I didn't have stone. I'm still overloaded by a big amount. Herbalism bench. <laughs> How much was that? That was fairly heavy, actually. I want the campfire, though. I need. I need a food source sustenance maker. Freaking bear again, man. <laughs> I'm so glad it didn't see me. <laughs> I just heard like the thudding footsteps. This is, you know, joke sometimes about playing horror games and how I should play it with like a heart monitor or something. No, this is the game. This is the game that should have the heart monitor. Um. What am I carrying that's so heavy? Anyway, I, mean, I know the bench is heavy. That's 20 kilograms. Maybe I'll just make a new campfire. That's 10 kilograms. I'll take the wood. No, I won't. I won't take the wood. Go away, bear. Kill me again. I'm too old to die. Um, That's 1.6. What am I? Uh, Yeah, if I drop this, there we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. That, that exclamation point down there? The bear was walking in the same direction I need to go. <laughs> of course he was. Why wouldn't he? Oh, why did he see me? Come on! No, 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 no. Bear, where? 
See me? See me? He's still he's still on me. Okay, stay in the water. Stay in the water. He's the, he's at least a little less. Well, actually, if I did the whole like bear dodging thing, I, I kind of forgot about it. In my panic, I forgot that we can just like dodge the bear when he attacks me. Oh, it's so weak. Worst part is even when I kill this guy, I can't really loot him. I guess I'll have to drop some wood because his leather is going to be worth way more than I'm out of arrows. All right, good. Oh, good, he brought friends. Stupid bear. Where'd his body go? Why is there still combat music? Where'd the bear body go? Oh, we got the wolf anyway. Rambo bear. <laughs> Bears all like, they drew first blood, not me. Oh, I'm cold. Like, I'm super cold. Where the heck did the bear body go? That thing would have had like all kinds of leather on it that I could have used. Where did it go? Oh, that's maybe why there was still combat music. I have no arrows. Craft some arrows. Can't craft arrows. All right, good times. You go swim over to where whatever you're... Oh, no. He's coming this way now. <laughs> I can't decide if he's going to come down after me or not. I don't think he knows either. I lost the bear corpse, though. After all that work killing this stupid thing. I don't even get the spoils. By the wolf next to the rock. All right, we'll go check. I mean, I, probably this wolf is going right for it. Because they'll go after a body wherever it is, and it just jumped underwater. That's impressive. Wolf. Okay, I missed him. Land three different stabs. Good job. Where is he going? Alright, whatever. There's the bear. We got him. You're mine, bear. Mine. All mine. Should be overweight, but I'm not. I don't understand it. 125.9. Yes. <laughs> Wolf was very confused. But in, in their in his defense, you know, they probably don't dive underwater hunting for things very often. It's really, really hard to sniff under there. <laughs> Normally they fall. Oh, come on. Normally they follow their nose. And that doesn't work so well underwater. And I can't get up this part. Alright, good times. Is anything gonna go right tonight? Is this how this whole night's gonna go? This this is a good indication of what our night's gonna be. Alright, we're on the surface at least. I need buffs. And I gotta be a little more stamina. Underwater battle with wild wolves and bears. What a game. That's right. <laughs> Hyper realism right there. What they don't tell you is the bears also know kung fu. That's uh, that's why they're so dangerous. That's another bear. That was a bear. I heard a bear. I know it was a bear because it was a bear. I don't have arrows. <laughs> And I'm so overloaded with materials right now, I can't even gather the stone I would need to make arrows. And I don't have everything I need to make. Wait a minute, I can make bone arrows, maybe. I'm gonna use a bunch of leather, which sucks, but at least I'll have arrows. I'm gonna need... Well, actually, there's no, there'll be no worms, worms in this cave, at least. Can you tell myself it's a bear? It is a bear! It was a bear. I heard a bear. Or it was a bear. All right, the bear can't hurt me. We got all the watermelon sugar. 
There's no bears, just keep moving. Bye, Ashley. I know what you're up to. So where am I headed? Well, I thought we'd just go on a nice romantic walk up to the middle of nowhere. <laughs> There's a big cave up here. Uh, I missed the prince point of it. No, no, I'm in the right spot. Uh, there's a big cave up here that has just like a crazy number of materials in it and it's kind of like an unfinished cave it doesn't count itself as a cave even though it's a cave it has all the cave like things so it doesn't get dark in there the way that it does in other caves uh, you don't get pneumonia in here there's no worms it's just a big open space full of like crazy numbers of like resource nodes good stuff um, so we will need to build a shelter in here uh, because if we don't, then, uh, we're not, you know, none of our stuff will actually be, like, indoors. That's alright. So we'll do, a, I'll set up a crafting bench in here. And I think of it actually, if it rains or storms or whatever, this whole storm effect, like, just comes right in here. Because it's not technically indoors. Uh, sadly, that also means this is not indoors. Why would we want that? Um, Okay. I'll need at least some sort of a primitive shelter that I can build in. So let's do, uh... Uh... Nine posts. Do like a two by two shelter for now. Does it identify as a cave? No, it, it doesn't. It identifies as a weaponized battle toaster. Um... Here, that'll work, I guess. Boop. Boop. Oh my God, was that another bear? Please say no. And mean it, truthfully. One like equals one bear bite. Oh, thanks, Ashley. So many bear bites. We're up to seventy-six bear bites so far. Who wouldn't want to get chewed on by a bear 76 separate times? I know I sure wouldn't not want that. <laughs> it identifies as a granite neutral cavern. Yeah, it's uh... I don't know. It's like a cave that they intend to have as a cave, but they're not... You know, they haven't really decided exactly if that's what it's going to be. No, I'm kidding. They just uh... I don't know, it's just unfinished or something, so they don't have it tagged right. And so, it doesn't give you shelter, and it doesn't have all the normal cave effects, and therefore it's awesome for building in. Hey Ruby Flarian, how you doing? 88 times now. Oh my god, we're up to 93 bear bites! No, stop it! That button was not put there for you to click on, just for the record. You know, it was there for aesthetic purposes because they felt they felt they needed it because other platforms had it. They didn't really want people to use it. What I've heard. I know it's a little dark. I'm sorry. I'll get as soon as I can. I'll get some torches and stuff set up in here. So we got oops that. that. Uh, so we got a little bit of light to work with. I need, uh, two, four, six, eight walls. Eight of these. Eight wood walls. And I don't have enough fiber. And of course there's zero fiber in here because it's a cave. Sort of. Mostly. All this can stay in here. Boop, boop, boop. Oh wait, I put that away and now I just interrupted myself. That's great. Whatever. Fine. 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 Don't worry about it. On the plus side, I don't have to worry about having windows in here because there's nothing to see anyway. Hey, look at that stone wall. That's an amazing view. Wow. Okay, let's go get some fiber. Uh, can I make... No. Maybe? Where's my scythe? There it is. Bone leather wood. I got all that in here. I got bone leather wood in here. Not enough bone. Uh, okay. Well, I made too many arrows. Let's 
fine. Gotta get some fiber. These are not the bears you're looking for, yeah. It's true, because I'm not looking for any bears. Like, at all. No bears. They can all go away. There's a wolf, though. I don't mind killing the wolf, because I could use more fur and leather and stuff. I don't know. I'm a sc <gasps> It's a bear! Okay. That wolf had a friend. He brought in a heavy hitter. I wonder if they'll actually wander in here. I don't even know. Uh, wood. Right. We got this. Don't worry. I'm a professional. Four, I need five of these still. Might as well make a door too, since everyone gets mad at me when I don't make doors. Lights torch, bear blows out the torch. <laughs> Wait, is this a Bugs Bunny cartoon? That sounds really familiar. <laughs> uh, our door, not door. There. Where's my door? Okay. Got that. I don't, you know what? I was going to make a peek roof, but I'm, I'm actually not even going to bother because there's just literally no reason. We're in a cave, sort of. Make a window for spite. <laughs> this is my spite window. Thank you, more Icarus. Enjoy. Midnight Tech. Yeah, it sounded like a couple of people were I wasn't going to play anymore, but no, no, that wasn't the case. I just, uh, I got distracted by a couple things trying to get a couple other things done. So, in particular, uh, I didn't bring any stone in with me. Uh, in particular, I was, uh, I was trying to finish Dying Light in advance of the Dying Light 2 release, but I got sick and I didn't stream for like, what was it, like four days or something? And, and in the middle there, I played a, I played a little bit of Vampire Survivor just for kicks. Um... But then with uh, with Dying Light 2 coming out, I, I already knew I was going to be playing that, and so that consumed my time for a couple days. Did some daytime streams, which I don't normally do, which is fun. There we go. Let's set that. Okay, so if the bear eats me, at least I've got a home to come back to. For a cave that's not a cave, it's really dark in here. I need stone, but oddly enough, you can't get stone in the caves. You gotta go out of the cave. They need to make a campfire. Without a campfire, I can't sleep. Can't sleep? We're stuck in the nighttime. Watching Fox at work is great. <laughs> you mean watching me screw up uh, endlessly? That Yeah, that's it's a skill, actually. I've been honing that skill for years. There's good rocks right there I want to go harvest, but I, there were there was also a bear and a wolf over there, so we're going to harvest over here. Hope they choose not to come visit. God, they say stream can fuzzle me as I thought my clock was off, yeah. <laughs> I normally stream only at night, but with, uh, with Dying Light 2 coming out, I was excited to play it, so I took a couple days off work. And, uh, play video games instead. Definitely wasn't the most popular game I've played, that's for sure. But YouTube is also kind of inundated with volume right now. Uh, arrows? Ooh. I don't know if that wolf over there is behind a rock or what, but I'm a little worried because it's kind of dark and I'm not sure what to make of that. Really dark out here. I'm sorry for the stream right now that it's so dark. Ah, oh, that's, that's the wolf speeding me. Oh. Can't see him. Gotta fight the torchlight. And a boar! Are you kidding me? There's another wolf. You know what sucks about this? See where my torch is laying right now? And another wolf.
<laughs> We're gonna respawn in the cave without a light source because it's dark. Uh, red. Is this a survival game or a horror game? At the rate it's going, it's a death simulation game. It's really dark in here. Please tell me I don't have any materials. And I wasn't smart enough to leave any in the bench. Well. This is good. Sorry for the darkness on the stream, but I have no light source. Uh, my body's out here and so is the torch. And um, also lots of wolves. Speaking. Where I heard panting. 62 wolf over there. And I hear a bear. Go, go, go! Cheese it! There we go. It's official. Wolves suck. So do bears. So do bears. Uh, okay. Crafting. We can make a... Ah, son of a... <laughs> oh, I don't have enough fiber. Or wood, oddly enough. Hmm. Well... Things are going swimmingly so far. This is great. This is... this is great. If I mentioned how great this is, this is great. <sighs> Comedy of errors tonight. Fox, I've killed five bears and 12 wolves tonight. How many of you killed? Let's not talk about that, okay? <laughs> I've killed, I think, three or four wolves and one bear. Uh, and I've gotten killed by a pack of wolves and a bear, so... Kind of a, not a winning, not a winning ratio right now. I'm going to kill that boar out of spite because he messed up my wolf fight. But I also don't want him messing with me because he's tough. He's an arrow sponge. Next, you will nurse down, you house slaw. Oh, burn down my house. Oh, probably. Probably I will. <laughs> wolf? Bear? Oh, come on, wolf. Oh, God, it saw me! No! Why, why am I leading it to my house? This is stupid. Maybe it, maybe it can't climb rocks as well as I can. Oh, my God, did I actually get away from it? How far am I going to run before it decides that it's not interested anymore? Do they lose track of you in the dark? Oh, you're right, there is fish in here. I honestly don't know how far they'll chase you. Either. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. I bet you he stopped at my house. Oh, please tell me he's not wrecking my house. Still hear him. Oddly enough, with the wind coming in, it's getting brighter in here because there's this weird weather effect that the wind makes it lighter outside. It's got to be an unintentional side effect, but just light them on fire. That doesn't work. Doesn't work. I don't have flaming arrows, and I can't use my torch. Ow! That wasn't even... Okay. Okay, I should take advantage of the light that we're going to get from this windstorm. You see if the bear is here. There's the bear. Doing a weird dance. I want to get a headshot, like, sneak attack headshot on him. But I, he's jiggling all over the place, and I can barely make out the bear. And it was broken. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's great. That is great. Great. Oh, I missed my jump! Give me in! Okay, he's breaking my house down. I got branches in here? 
I need to fix my bow. Uh, I need to get on my roof. I can't get up there. I'm dead. I'm dead. Leave my house alone, you jerk. Oh my god. If I can't, <laughs> I'm leaning in my chair trying to avoid getting hit by him. <laughs> Not, it's not the smartest thing I've done as a gamer. Oh, where is he? I oh, sight of him for a second. That was bad. Stuck. Oh, that's bad. How about you just die already? <laughs> Why is he so tough? We stuck in a rock. I'm stuck enough. Is he dead? Ha! Eat it, you jerk. Oh, good God. <laughs> if it wasn't for the storm coming in and lightening things up a bit, I I would not have even been able to see him to fight him that way. This is great. He wrecked my house because he's a jerk. Stupid bear. Stupid bear with his stupid face. Oh, all right. Can I make a campfire now? I just I just want to I want to go to sleep, but I, I think I have to fix my wall. No, did I not get fiber? I thought I got fiber. <laughs> I didn't. Get, I guess I didn't get far enough for the fiber because you know bear. Uh. Right with another super chat, Fox. Did you bring your brown pants tonight, man? I apparently needed to because I am just a hot mess tonight. This is uh, this is all going. Absolutely wonderfully. Right, I'm gonna take advantage of the little bit of light we got here from this crazy storm to try and get some more dead wolf. I'm gonna leave the body there. Then maybe they'll go eat that instead of trying to eat me. And there's another bear. Son of a gun. Going, I'm moving. He's chasing me. I think he lost interest. I think we're okay. He was after me though. Hot mess and pants tonight, pretty much. You know what? I also just realized uh, I don't have enough wood to even build replacement wall pieces because. <laughs> Alright, thatch wall it is. <laughs> I get a I get a thatch wall. Deploy. There. Please just let me build a campfire now. Stone. A little bit of wood. I can burn. Campfire. Craft. Finally. Bow knife inside. I don't need a bow knife. I've got this uh Shengong key knife. I brought one down from the station with me. Uh, I don't really need to make a bow knife. The side that could go bow making, but not really, not really my priority at the moment. All right, let's make it daytime. <laughs> Hooray! We survived through the first day on Icarus without a single thing going wrong. <laughs> Our place is beautiful. Got a mansion over here. I know you're all jealous. It's fine. Fine. Need more wood. Time to go out in the killing zone again. I've only got six arrows left, too, which is uh, gonna work great um, when the animals try to eat me again. Didn't bring any of my parkour skills over with me? Apparently not. There's like no, no parkour escapes in this game. Severely lacking in the parkour department. I left the bones. I'm gonna get those. Savage. 
Pack Hunter. Oh, I'm also bleeding really bad. Oh, that's great. Uh, I probably should pay attention to that stuff. In fiber and leather. Um, but I'm gonna die from like. Oh, my one is even infected. That's that's even better. Apparently, if you don't treat an injury, it's uh, considered a negative thing. I, I don't know why. Don't even. I've only got six arrows. I can't afford to fight you. Wood. Oh, these freaking bears! Make more arrows, I need leather, uh, and bone and stuff. That's all back at the cave. Oh, I can't make more right now. game not like this i'm still wounded from the last one he's gonna come break in my cave over here and i'm not gonna like it i have no stamina i can't run oh <laughs> that was <a> stupid bear <laughs> can't even respawn now he's in my doorway if I respawn right now he's gonna he's gonna be right on my body <laughs> oh was that four times we've died already tonight this is it three times four times what are the odds I can respawn on my bed and the bear won't be here I'm gonna try it let's start let's try and see what happens Maybe it'll give me like a stay of execution where I can like jerk. You, this game's a jerk. But it is, it's a jerk. Leave my building alone. Lure him away. Oh, I can't afford non-critical hits here. Oh god. Oh god. All right. That's great. <laughs> Oh my god. No, this was number three. Did my stuff fall through the ground? No. That wasn't number three. That was number four, unfortunately. You do the same thing, but with your knife. It's just a little harder. You gotta like slash them on the way by. I'm not really practiced at doing that at all. Ashley's happy. Oh yeah, she's ecstatic. She's like, she's like, this is the to the best game ever. <laughs> I've still got an infected wound. It didn't even take my infected wound away. I don't have the materials I need in here to make because of the woods on the body. That's great. This is good. This is good. Everything's fine. Everything's awesome. Everything's cool when you're part of a team. <laughs> the laugh of pure rage. Yeah. One of them. Hey! Jerk face. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. He's just gonna stand over my body, huh? You're a prick. The odds I can sneak, sneak up on a bear from behind and steal my stuff. One hit, dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, I need my things. Is this a higher difficulty mission? It is. It's like a three skull mission, yeah. 
It shouldn't be this hard, though. Not at this point. Like, the hard stuff is supposed to be later. I just... I've run afoul of this bear-ridden territory, and it's, uh... Not, it's not doing well right now, you know? It's, things aren't going good. Bad. The might stay. See the bear there still. He's still got his tag. I need to lure him outside. If I, if I leave him in here... Oh, here he comes. Oh! Yep, way to get hung up on the rock, buddy. Brilliant moves. Parkour master! This is why I play Dying Light 2, so I can get my parkour skills up. For running from bears. Come on, jerk face! You're slow! No, no you're not so slow anymore. Try to take him across the water again. Oh, he's gonna kill me! Oh god, the, the fall is gonna kill me. Health low, broken leg. We're fine. <laughs> the river was a little farther than I thought. It's okay though. It's okay. Hi, bear. <laughs> Just need to bear with it. Yeah, oh yeah, there's so many bear puns that could be had right now. Don't go back. No, oh, he's drinking. He's like, you know what? I've eaten so many people today, but they all taste like chicken. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Actually, with a super chat, another one bites the dust, another one down. Yeah. Thanks for the super chat. <laughs> this is unbearable. He's like, why do all, why do all these people taste like the same chicken? All right, all good. I brought my broken leg with me. So I got a broken leg, we got an infection, we got lacerations, uh, and of course I've got a halo because I'm great. <laughs> Where's Nate? Uh, Nate is not, he's offline this weekend. He's got his kids this weekend. <sighs> Everything is going exactly to plan. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Okay, maybe worry a little bit. <laughs> so much to go all day for help. Well, now that I got the bear out of there and I can start building some things in here, I think we'll be all right. You know, like our house is in perfect repair. We have a place to sleep. I got a fire to make food type products at. Uh, I really could make some. <laughs> really. Uh, festering wound. An extremely infected wound from an attack counter with antiparasitics. Not removed on death. Great. It'll run it on its own, though. It's only got, like, 234 left to kill me. Something. Look <laughs> how low my max health is right now. Uh, eat one of these. That'll give me a small health boost. There we go. And I should probably make something for those deep laceration wounds. Fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Nothing went wrong. Perfect start to a perfect day. Damn patch in the super chat. The most you've died in a stream by bears. I think you might be right. This has just been... Been special, you know? I'm glad all of you could be here to share this special moment with me. Uh, I think I can make a splint, right? I'll make a splint. In rope. But you know what? Let's not worry about that, because it's going to go away on its own. I don't need to worry about broken limbs. Put on some garlic butter cologne for the next bear. I mean, he needs something to, like, spice up his dishes a little bit, right? I mean, you can't chew on the same boring person all the time. Variety is the spice of life. You know? Feel bad for this poor bear. Oh, you know the worst part is? I wanted to make this oxygen machine, and I completely forgot I need sulfur for it. I've got oxide, but no sulfur. Uh, I need a repair hammer, too. Jerky McJerk face over there. Jerksville, Indiana. There. It's good as new. Aside from this. Make a new wall there. not deploy. I meant destroy. There we go. 
Okay. Everything is fine. We're now exactly where we're supposed to be. Maybe. <laughs> this is definitely the, wor the worst start I've had to any mission. Don't do it. Yeah, more to live for than bear fodder. <laughs> Rub yourself in hot chili pepper juice. Maybe he leaves you alone. That maybe, unless it's one of those bears that happens to like spicy food. You know, you gotta watch out. You never know what you're getting exactly. The bears like, why does this guy taste like enchiladas? All right, look at that progress. Got a bow. We have some arrows. I need things. Uh, skinning bench. I'm not going to bother with a skinning bench tonight, I don't think. Maybe I will make the skinning bench. I can't decide if I want a skinning bench. <laughs> uh, textiles bench I definitely will need. I feel like there's so many animals around here to, to in. I don't really need to bring them back to a skinning bench. It'll just take extra time to run them into the cave this far in order to use it. And it would mean I'd have to unequip my backpack anyway. So I think I'm going to go without getting bench today. But I really do need a ghillie suit because, uh, you know, reasons. Good reasons, too. And I don't have enough five. Okay. Used to put too many bones, so I can't make a scythe because, again, I'm brilliant. Yeah, I know. It doesn't have any stuff. I get it. Sulfur. Get a ghillie suit now. I can't. I need fiber. Gotta get the fiber. I do have a stronger bow now, though. So at least when, when the bears choose to mess with me, I can shoot bone arrows in their face that fly faster and do a little more damage. Cosmo with Super Chat. Be careful, Fox. You only have to change uh, channel name to Cryptic Fox to Bear Food. That's what I named the character initially when we were playing in the beta. <laughs> I, I named him Bear Food. Because that's what I ended up more often than not. All right, right in your butt. A friendly wolf with him. Now he doesn't. Rick Fox doesn't even taste good. He's just empty calories. <laughs> he just keeps respawning with no calorie value. Make a, should make a tier 4 bearer, but oh, by the time. I feel like by the time you're tier 4, you don't really need the, the uh, you wouldn't need the repellent. Because you've got good enough equipment now that by that point that the bears really don't present as much of a challenge. This cryptic fox keto. <laughs> We're really low in fat from all the running we've been doing though, you know? Freaking kidding me. I got no stamina. Dying again. Like this ah oh, come on <laughs> I missed my shot as he was coming right at me <sighs> stupid potato aim he's gonna eat the bodies and then look at him prancing along he's prancer size in that stupid wolf don't eat the bear I want that bear don't eat the bear my bear payback <laughs> that's a dangerous zone good lord that's a good lord. That's better. You look way better with an arrow in your eye, buddy. Way better. This guy, all oh, my arrows despawn because they don't stay, they don't stay long enough. I think with so many big animals, they'd let you bring a gun from the ship each time, right? The best you can do is bring a bow from the ship, but I don't really feel like unlocking the bow, because... I don't know. I feel like you're just going to wind up replacing it with a gun anyway, or something. I don't know. 
I can't repair it, so when it breaks, it's done. What was the mission we were supposed to get on again? Get killed by... Yes, this is the mission to feed the wildlife. Um, and I think we're doing a fantastic job of it. No one can criticize our skill in feeding the wildlife. Was there a dead wolf down here that I didn't skin? You know what? Before the bears come back, let's chop a tree down or something. It's amazing, the bow! You'd love it. Put a simple wall across the entrance. Can you find a place to have the honey line? Uh, I mean, I, we could do a variety of things here. I just, uh, I was low on resources for everything. Like, I didn't even have a basic home set up yet before the bears started eating me. On the plus side, we're not losing much XP because we already lost most of it on this level. I need to find sulfur, too. First things first, do I have enough arrows? How many have I got? One. Well, I definitely need more than that. We want some bones left over. Okay, I have plenty of carrying capacity and... Oh, look at that, I found sulfur. Can you set traps? Not really. I think there's like a spike defense thing you can get at a higher tier. Uh, but aside from that, no. It, it doesn't have like a whole trapping mechanism. Rage quick coming suit. No, I enjoy this game too much. I just find it. I find this kind of stuff funny. Usually it's the surprise bears that I walk into that get me, but they aren't. This is the worst I've ever had it with them just like being around constantly. There was another bear? I didn't see another bear. You're lying, right? There's no other bear there. You're lying? You're making that up? It's fake? Please tell me it's fake. <laughs> oh, I don't have my canteen equipped either. Forgot that I uh, unequipped everything because I was dead. Stairs? Stairs for bears. A po very popular band. They run with the same circles as Tears for Fears. I want stand torches. Ooh, I should make crop plots too, actually. Take sulfur for crop plots. Hmm. Five streams later, and now the skinning bench. I'm not even gonna bother with skinning bench tonight. There's so many animals to kill. And it's such a pain to carry them in, and I have to go without my backpack, then I might as well just skin them in place, and we'll make do with what we get. We'll be fine. Mostly. Maybe? Hopefully. Fine. Just. Fine. At least we're getting an oxygen thing now. I built my base across the entrance of that location, so never had an issue with bears. Yeah, I don't know. Just this particular mission, they're uh, they're being a colossal pain in my rear end. Sure, they don't mean to be. <laughs> they're just they're just misunderstood. How many deaths do you miss? I don't know. We've had like five or six. Sorry, I need a quick moment. I just gotta run and grab a bottle of water. I'm ha hacking up a lung.
we're at zero deaths. Zero deaths. Flawless stream as always. At least I got my oxygen. Okay. Holy, it took all the... Wow. Wow. I need to cut down more fiber. <clears throat> it took all the oxide to fill that tank up. That's crazy. Thing holds a ton. So much oxygens. So much. Rabbit's getting her revenge for me killing the dog. I put the dog out of its misery. It was... It was a good thing. From the perspective of it was dying anyway. He didn't even witness it. Plus he went back and watched it later. Probably a good thing he wasn't there. He would've got really mad at me, I think. Bears are low on fiber, too. Well, I figure if I have enough fiber on me, then, uh, you know, they should get plenty of it in the pass-through, you know? Swear to God, I heard another bear. Yeah, I'm gonna make the ghillie suit. I need a bunch of fiber. Uh, I have very little right now. While I'm out here, I'm gathering stone so that we can make, uh, some stone furnaces. We can smelt down all this lovely... There it is. There it is. Oh god, I didn't get the sneak attack headshot. Missing all the headshots. <laughs> there we go. Good grief. Fuck, stand still. Are you kidding me? All right. We lived. For once. There is a very healthy bear population around here, in case you hadn't noticed. Whistles over here, bear. <laughs> no, no more bears. Geez, I wish you had gotten the hit bar, bar talent. It's it adds the adventure, not knowing when it's gonna die exactly. You know, it's like a little added surprise. Right, let's go make a ghillie suit so I can finally stay slightly more hidden. Uh, and then hopefully I've got enough stone on me that we can make a couple smelters. Start smelting some iron and stuff in here. Uh, what? I need 22 of these. And then for the ghillie suit, we also need sticks. Which is relatively easy to come by. And you've got a stacks of them. We got a decent amount of food on us too. We've <laughs> got like 15 here, 12 there. Are you sure you put on the bear repellent, not the bear attractant? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I, I think maybe I was like, I was bathing in garlic or something and whatever else. 
bears might like on their food. Bears eat garlic now. Uh -huh. There. Now maybe they won't even see me. I just like, this like some sort of weird swamp monster. And if they do see me, I look so nasty they won't want to eat me. See? Strategy. <laughs> Honey and garlic, yeah. Honey garlic chicken wings right here. That's what I am. Speaking of which, I had chicken wings for dinner. Somebody asked me earlier and I never quite got around to asking because I got distracted by being eaten alive. Chicken wings. I did them up in the air fryer. Chicken wings. Oh. All right, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for what I need now. I need, uh, I know, I need the six bag, I guess. M's. Can I make two of these? Ah, I've only got enough for one. All right, gotta get more stone. Chicken wings, just like the bear's dinner. Absolutely. Yeah, I got an air fryer for Christmas from my wife. Uh, and I've used it for a variety of things now. Like, uh, I've done chicken wings in it. We did, like, these... My wife has been making these uh, chips out of uh, just flour tortillas. I've been doing, uh, like, roasted uh, cauliflower in there. It's been really good. I've been trying to eat a little bit better. Because uh, sitting on my backside has not done wonders for my waistline. Do my guess. So, uh, this is... There is no good place to put this. <laughs> why? Who made such a small building in here? Like, why Why did you do this to me? Why? You know what? Let, let's put some stuff away. They'll, they'll make room. Get this out of here. Put this away. I'm not going to need it right away anyway. Anyway, I've been trying to eat a little bit better, so it's been... Uh, it's been actually been really good for doing vegetables and stuff in, oddly enough. Pro tip! Pork chop necklace scares both bears and wolves. Ooh, I should totally try that. Thanks, Ashley. Lifesaver. <laughs> Hashtag torturer lady. Alright, we're ready to do some mining. What are you? That's copper. Uh, we'll get some. I guess we'll get iron. If I can find platinum in here, we'll get some platinum too. I'll we'll try to get some platinum stuff going on eventually. Opinions on pizza and watermelon. I, uh, I got an air fryer at Christmas and haven't opened it yet. I haven't tried pizza in it yet. Uh, I did get something that I'm going to try to make, like, these little pizza-like things. Uh, I got some nan, uh, some nan and some mozzarella, and I forgot to get the, the pizza sauce, but I'm going to get that, too. And make, like, nan pizza instead, instead of, like, like, a regular pizza. Because it'll cook up faster. But I've been doing like uh, roasted cauliflower in there, uh, hamburgers. They work pretty good for those. They come out nice and juicy. Uh, what else have I done in there? I feel like I've done a bunch of stuff and I can't remember now. That is some noisy wind. If you quit feeding the bears, it'd go away. I guess that's true, except they keep wandering around outside my cave, so every time I go out to get something, they're, like, in my face. <laughs> Nothing says I love you like a bear in the face. Damn pizzas are great. The kids love them. Yeah, I'm gonna try it out. It, it, it was something I... I can't remember where I saw it on, online or something when I was looking for recipes. It seemed like a good idea. Uh, I haven't done anything too adventurous with it yet. I've seen people that do, like, baking and things in them, but... For the most part, when I see those things, what I think is, oh, why would I just do that in an oven? <laughs> like, I don't know. Seems like more hassle to do it in the air fryer sometimes. Reheating. Oh, I've done French fries, of course. Like the frozen French fries. You just pop in there. They work. They come out good. Nice and crispy. Bob, use new iron waiting for your air fryer to be delivered. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's, uh, 
it's been pretty handy. Like sometimes when I want to just cook up something quickly, it uh, works. Pretty, it works pretty good, and it's less less time and effort than doing it in the oven. But um, if I was gonna do something more more significant, I would probably still use the oven. <clears throat> Wonder twin powers activate. Man, we get a lot of iron out of that. Two hundred and forty-eight iron out of that one batch. Stuff. Great. A little sad. I think each of the nodes provides more iron now. Significant. The kid's like, go away. I'm talking on Discord to my friend. That's exactly what my daughter's like. And <laughs> she doesn't want anything to do with me now. I'm going to take some more power and heats up your house more bad in the summer. It's, that's true. Yeah. You're not wrong. And it does take longer. On the, you know, on the average, anyway. Do it in an oven. <clears throat> but unstake in the air prior. No, I, 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 I'm not going to, actually. I very much believe a good, there's a, there's a, there's the right way and the wrong way to cook steak. Uh, and I can't believe that doing an air fryer would do a good job on a steak. If I can't barbecue a steak, I'm gonna I use a cast iron skillet. And I, I, I actually, I got, so, I decided, I don't know, a couple weeks ago that I was gonna make a steak uh, because I don't have them very often. Uh, my wife's not a big steak eater. She eats a little bit of it. The kids don't eat it at all. Um, so there's just often not much point in, uh, not much point to make get, getting steak too often. Um, so every, every once in a blue moon, maybe like a couple times a year, I'll buy a steak to cook. And I decided to do it in the cast iron skillet in, uh, in the kitchen. Uh, and I smoked the whole house out. My wife was like, <laughs> she was so mad at me. <laughs> at least I think she was. It made a lot of smoke. It worked, it worked fantastic. I just, it, it, it I got like a beautiful sear on the steak and... Um, it turned out really good, but, uh, <laughs> it made a lot of smoke. Cast iron, a little butter, mushrooms. Yeah, I did, uh, cast iron with some, uh, um, some butter, garlic, and rosemary. Emerald Agassi toaster oven does great. So, with the... Uh, uh, with with the emerald toaster oven, does it say bam every time you close the door or do anything like that? Or is it just just a normal toaster oven kind of thing? <laughs> Start the steak in the cast iron on the stove and pop in the oven to complete the cooking best steak ever. I, I've done it that way before. Um, this time I did it different. Um, I, I heated the cast iron up hotter than I normally would, which is where the smoke came from. Uh, it wasn't olive oil. No, no. Yeah, I didn't use olive oil. Um, anyway, I uh, I got the cast iron really hot, and I seared the steak on one side. And by the time some of the fat was rendering out of the steak, I, it was a it was a prime uh, prime cut of steak too, so it had a, a reasonable amount of fat in it. <clears throat> so the fat, of course, started smoking, and then. I flipped it, seared it some more, by then it was smoking pretty good, and then I added some butter and uh, garlic and rosemary into the pan with it, and then I just butter basted the steak to finish it. But it, it just smoked a lot. Ugh, eggs. I can't do eggs, not gonna do it. Add oil to your butter, less smoke point. Yeah, the smoking started well before that. It was the rendered, uh, the rendered beef fat that was smoking. How do you season a cast iron? Um, so I'm not a professional, but you uh, you want to cover the whole pan in in a in oil, like wipe it all down with oil. Something that has a reasonably high smoke point to it. Um, not a lot of it. You just want like a like it just needs to be like kind of coated, and then you you put it in the in your oven with a pan underneath it to catch any drippings. You can put it like. Um, cooking surface downward in your on a rack in the oven and cook it in your oven at the highest temperature uh, I don't know exactly how long for you. you might want to look it up online but it basically you it it cooks the oil on the outside of the pan um, all the way around it and it turns out uh, it, it seasons it uh, okay I, I got more stuff here to put in here 
Oh wait, the platinum I can't smelt in here. Smelt that later. Smelt the fire later. Speaking of smoking on a house and rendering fat, anyone else catch the trial? The guy who killed and trying to get an appearance of the fire. Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's <laughs> not go there. Sounds gross. Oh, I'm just short of enough iron. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Your Al Pacino maker says, hoo It means I'm every espresso you make. <laughs> <laughs> when it's all done, it goes, say hello to my little friend. Uh, I need more stones so that we can make another, another furnace in here. A friend whose wife used motor oil to season a cast iron pan. She was a really bad cook. <laughs> uh, my dad's wife, uh, her cooking used to taste like motor oil. Um, I don't, I'm convinced she didn't actually use any motor oil, but it tasted like it. recommended flax oil because it's low smoke point with five to seven coatings yeah you, you can use a variety of different oils that I don't know that the type of oil necessarily matters but you do have to do it you know multiple times it, when you're finished you'll end up with a coating on the pan that's almost like rock hard and it's uh, it's it's largely non-stick um, It's not entirely non-stick, but it things will not stick to it as much as they did before. It takes a little time to, to season a pan well. Make bacon burgers in your cast iron. Oh yeah, cast iron is good for lots of stuff. I broke my pickaxe. I think I have enough stone now to make a second melter. Yeah, bovine is uh, cow. <laughs> bovine heart valve would be cow heart. Okay. Nothing will stick if you carbonize it long enough. <laughs> this is interesting, you know. I'm like, yeah, you and me both. <laughs> I did have some chicken wings for dinner, but now I'm starting to feel like I want some steak. Steak. Oh. Need to move my campfire. We're gonna need a bigger house. So I'm, I'm gonna build outside the entrance of the cave for the next for like the next stage here. We'll do it like right across the opening of the cave, even. I don't know if the bears want to come in here. We can just say, "Screw you, bear." I thought I did. Okay, we can double up our iron production now. So that'll be better. What else do I want to make in here? I'm gonna need a lot of a lot of stone and stuff, I guess. Just I, I'm gonna have to get rid of this pickaxe. Crazy Sammy, the super chat. Why aren't you playing Diet Light 2? Uh, because I wanted to take a little bit of a break from it to play some Icarus this weekend. So today, tomorrow, we're gonna play Icarus. Play some more Dying Light 2 starting on Monday again. I have to say though, um, it you know, Dying Light 2 has not been one of the more popular games that I've played. Not in terms of like the stream volume or whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Figure out what I got here materials wise. That's silica. Need to make the um, make the anvil here. Give to me the anvil, and then we'll need the uh, um, stone bench because I want to make some. I want to make a stone building. We're gonna go straight to stone outside. I think I can gather enough stone without the bears eating me alive. Sure, that works that in there. Okay, stone grafting bench requires things. Where is it? 
Masonry bench. I need 12 ropes. 25 or go. Found it. 12 of them things. <clears throat> Glad you're playing DL2. Not a game I'd ever play as I'm a horde of parkour, so thanks. But Dying Light 2 on PS4, definitely harder than PC. Is it harder than PC? I don't know. Can't see why it would be. Dying Light 2 story is boring. <laughs> well, not every game's gonna be for everybody. I'm enjoying it. I'm actually having more fun with the parts of the game that aren't the story, to be honest, but... I don't know. Maybe I just like it. I gotta get used to the new city that I'm in now, though. So I went to the I went to the part of the city that's got all the tall buildings and stuff, and you got the gliders, but now everything's higher than, like, just a couple stories, so... I gotta pay a lot more attention to the verticality of stuff. Game itself was fun looking, but the story just, I don't know, doesn't grip me. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, the characters are interesting enough, I guess. It's a bit of a weak plot, I think, maybe, in terms of the whole, like, I need to find my sister bit. Games do that a lot, you know? Like, they, they've always got, like, I need to find my sister, my wife, my daughter, my parent, my uncle, my third cousin's second roommate's dog, or whatever. Um, but then it never, it's never really the driving force behind the gameplay. It, it always seems to end up being just like an extra thing. I'm gonna get rid of this bench here, we'll put it away. Store that in here. I love that you can just store things in this crafting bench. What's that? You have seven different benches inside of your one bench? Absolutely, no trouble at all. Feel free, sir. That's great. We're happy to accommodate. I can't see. Go. I need some stand torches. Or torches, whatever they're called. Oh, I'm hungry. How about that? Feel all that steak talk. I think slower on PS4. The PC response is way faster, is it? In Benchception. <laughs> Box up the side missions deal too. Like the mission to rescue the two lost kids and their dog. I mean, man, I'm telling you, that was dark. That was a dark mission right there. I can't see. Where am I? Perfect. Perfect. The flawless execution, as always. Zero problems. Oh my god, I got a plant in my head. <laughs> Okay, so that's done. What time is it in game? 2028. 20, Let's make it daytime. Uh, I gotta light this thing. Daytime. Punch wind powers deactivate. Yeah, I need a new pickaxe for making, uh, for making, for gathering stone. Uh, so I need leather, I need wood. Nope. Those in there. Golly gee, Davy. Oh, iron sickle. Let's make one of those too. There we go. Now, we need lots of stone, we're gonna need lots of nails, we're gonna need a bunch of wood, we're gonna need all kinds of stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go have to go do some choppy chopping. Playing the old choppy chop smacky smack game. I think they've re-upped the number of stamina the predators again, uh, and like from way back in the beginning of the beta. Yeah, well, there's definitely been a lot of bears and wolves in this particular area, but the riverlands are bad for it anyway, because they just, there's just a lot of animals. Um, the Riverlands also has uh, animals that have more life total. They're just uh, they're tougher. So there's that too. We got to contend with.
right in the eye. Look at all the boars. I love how they just all come to where the body was. Another eyeball shot. There's another one coming. Boar killer two. I killed a hundred boars. Oh my god. A monster. Hey, Grim Fox, everyone. Hey, Danny and Beauty. How you doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Did a canyons today and died like five times. Oh god, I've already died like seven times. <laughs> we had a bit of a, a bit of an issue with bears here at the opening of the cave, and then one actually I ran into the cave, which was stupid of me. And then it was camping my body inside, which is like right where I was spawning, and it was great. Everything was good. <clears throat> Predators numbers that respawn while you're skinning them. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> you're a monster. But at least we're a delightful monster. Come on now. I don't know if that wolf will come around the rock or not. I got the ghillie suit on at least, so we got a little bit of extra cover. And whatever minimal armor it provides. Oh, Jesus! God! <laughs> the boar was like right on top of me. That's ridiculous. It was so well hidden, I didn't even know I was there. I was saying, remember, beta bears were spawning at incredible rates? Yeah. There, there were a lot of them. I wasn't really exactly familiar with how to deal with the bears in the beta either, so they just sort of like... If I ran into a bear, it was almost certain death if I was under-equipped. It was not... It wasn't good. So many bears. Boar just wanted to nibble my booty. He was probably trying to eat the ghillie suit, you know? They're, they're, they're like plants, too. They'll eat almost anything, but... They like plants. Came over here looking for bacon and knew one of the other boars had been killed, and it's like, whoa, bacon! I didn't leave any behind, though. I like my bacon more. Oh, that's another thing I've done in the air fryer is bacon. It does fantastic bacon. <laughs> Just like you, you kill and skin. Yeah, there's so many. So many. There's like a... Hey, look, there's another boar. I'm gonna let that one live. Probably regret it in a minute. Air fryer bacon is great, let me tell you. Good stuff. Good stuff. Just cooks it like perfectly, it's amazing. The only limitation is that it just doesn't hold all that much. You only be, you can be, like I cut, I generally cut my strips of bacon in half just for ease of handling. You can basically do three full strips in there. Otherwise it get too crowded. Got stones. I mean, a little bit anyway. I got plenty of leather. I should be all right for nails, I would think, once I make a bunch of them. I think like 300 nails. Oh, no, no, wait, 30 nails. There we go. <laughs> Mix 10 at a time. Got here late, went back to watch all the dying. Oh man, I died so many times, it was quite ridiculous. <laughs> so much death. In fact, I'm gonna rename the title because it's gonna be, uh... One I use, just I don't think it's gonna cut it. I'm so good at dying. It's a skill, you know, like... 
People don't believe me, but sucking at video games is like, it's a talent, you know? It takes years of practice and hard work at not improving. It's, uh, you know, you gotta be really dedicated to it as an art form. And not everyone can do that, you know? Okay, I want, uh, I need more wood. I guess I didn't chop down any trees yet, did I? Um... I have so much meat because we've killed so many forest creatures. Ooh, wait a minute, what's... Oh, no. Like, why isn't that thing going down? But it's because it was already almost toast. <laughs> yeah. It's it's called self-deprecating self humor. It's all right. I don't really suck at video games. I'm just not going to pretend like I'm a grandmaster or anything either. <laughs> it's impressive but the amount of effort and gravity you put into death. You need to practice it more often in this game. <laughs> I've done a lot of this game. We've succeeded up to this point in spite of all the death, but uh, I have died a lot. Level to 22 after losing your level 46 character last week. Oh, that bites. I almost lost my character when I was sick. Um, and I had I got back in the game with 30 minutes to spare. And got him off planet. <laughs> Someone it was a good thing too. I had I popped into Nate's stream. Um and I was sick and I wasn't streaming. And someone in there was like, hey, did you get your character off of the planet for Icarus? And I was like, oh god, no, I didn't. And I had like I literally had 30 minutes to get him off the planet before, uh, before he would have died. Not a pro gamer. Unsubbing. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like a competitive pro player, you know? Like, I'm a pro because technically I'm earning money on it, but... Grill your bacon. It makes it amazing. You can make like one kilogram of it at once. Oh my god, so much bacon. See, I'm also the only one in the house that really eats bacon. My daughter will eat like a tiny little piece of it. I think she likes the smell of it more than anything else. Every time I make bacon, she comes to the kitchen, but then she doesn't really want it. My wife is completely indifferent to bacon. I don't understand it. I, I think actually she might not be human. Not certain. We had five minutes and thought that I had one more day. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's the worst. Oop. Who doesn't like bacon? I mean, I don't know. I don't know that she like dislikes it. I think she's just indifferent to it, and I can't can't understand. You're allergic to pork. That's see, that's different. You could be allergic to pork, but still like bacon. You just can't have it, right? <laughs> that, that's a thing. It happens. It's one thing if you just simply can't have it, but it's another to know that you can have it and actively choose not to. That, uh, that I will never understand. Bacon's the number one meat that, that brings vegans back to eating meat. I believe you. Daughter hates pork but loves bacon, yeah. But Lisa, you're not gonna even eat bacon? Or ham? Or pork chops? Dad, it's all the same animal. Oh right, Lisa. It's a magical animal. <laughs> uh wow, we got a lot of wood there. Okay. Yeah, I probably got a little bit more than I needed. Um Okay. So what do I wanna do building wise here? Should we do something ridiculously out of proportion with what we need? I feel like we should. <laughs> now that I've died a whole bunch, and we're definitely not completing this mission tonight anyway, I feel like we should make something um, grossly exaggerated in proportion. I only have enough stone for 10 stone foundations. That sucks. Well, isn't that a thing? I need to go get more stone. We'll get, we'll get those going and then I'll get more stone, I guess. Maybe I should make more arrows. I have more bones. I do have bones. I have leather. Let's just make sure we're uh, not caught flat-footed here. 
had COVID this week and while the food just tasted strange, luckily bacon has tasted normal. Oh, lucky. <laughs> Your daughter stopped eating pork, so now you cook with turkey. Can't seem to shake bacon, though. I, I actually... I have more poultry than anything else when it comes to meat. Like, it's always like... I use a lot of ground turkey, a lot of chicken breasts, chicken thighs, that kind of stuff. Not liking bacon is madness. I agree, Flame, and thank you for the super chat. Agree. Can't understand it, but, you know, some people have this thing, I guess. <laughs> so many arrows. Won't see any more bears or wolves, don't worry. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. There'll be none. It's fine. Fine. Need to make a more of a clearing here, too. Not liking moist eggs is madness. Ooh. Eggs. Can't eat eggs. Won't do it. Not gonna do it. Oh, it's broken. No, it's not. I still got more than half of its, uh... like a bridge in the distance over there weird i heard a bear i know i did i don't see it though so all right eggs fried and bacon grease eggs are gross peanut butter and bacon Chocolate covered bacon is pretty awesome. Go get the pumpkins. I don't want to pick them right away because they'll they'll just go bad anyway. I want to. Have, uh, I'm thinking this time we're gonna do some some farm plot things to grow some plants. Say say Wingardium Leviosa and your character will magically fly. Should totally give it a try. Wingardium Leviosa, not Leviosa. Cologne meat is delicious. <laughs> I don't understand how that's possible for it to be delicious. I'm very curious about that stuff. Because they've got that, that meat they can grow in a lab now that they can like form into like steak-like shape. But it wouldn't have like fat marbling and it wouldn't have like the flavor that is developed in meat by the animal grazing over time and I don't know. Have ever eaten candied bacon? No, I don't think I have. I've had bacon chocolate. Our company used to have a partnership with this uh, with this high-end chocolate company called um, named Vosge, B O S G E S, and they make these bacon chocolate bars that are so good. <laughs> Beyond Meat isn't lab-grown meat, though. Beyond Meat is uh, uh, like plant-based, but they use a, a chemical that simulates blood in it. Turns out the meat all red or whatever. Google three D printed steak supposedly big in Europe right now. Sadly, is vegan. Yeah, beating or whatever. Animals convert plants into tasty meat naturally. <laughs> they sure do. I get the incentive behind people wanting to. Uh, come up with different ways of producing meat and stuff though because it the whole like animal animal farming situation for uh for food products particularly in some countries is is really uh really over the top atrocious <laughs> i love meat so much i'm not gonna stop eating it so if they you know if they can come up with one that tastes really delicious and doesn't require them to treat animals so poorly then uh hey i'm all for it but my bacon better taste like bacon, is all I'm saying. Wouldn't Slim Jims be 3D printed meat? <laughs> really want to see a field of planted steer. I'll 
Little steer head sticking out of the ground. Ew. <laughs> Gross. I don't see what the amount is willing to try alternatives, but we're just not there yet. Yeah, yeah, like the, There's pretty abhorrent treatment of animals in the whole process of raising Especially chickens like chickens get the worst of that to be honest um, Yeah, so like if they can come up with a with a, a system that is delicious and avoids all that. Hey great But prove to me also that it's <laughs> it doesn't have like long-term negative health effects you know, aside from like cardiac arrest and stuff you could get from eating normal meat anyway. Uh, okay, so we've got ten foundation pieces. That would do be a, that would do a five by two building. And I want to I don't know, I don't know what I want. I you know what I want I want something more, but I don't know what. So we'll do like do like five more of these for now. <laughs> if you get hurt, it's okay. Rub bacon on it. I'm gonna build a stone wall with a door at the entrance to the cave. No, I'm not. I'm gonna leave that open, but I'm gonna build my my base outside the entrance to the cave. And uh, then we will, when we want ores and stuff, we can just come into the cave to mine it. But I want the I want the ability to have some daylight when I'm out there. You know, like, I want to. I don't want to just be in like this dank cave all the time. But the dank, mo the dank. You're pounding down chocolate-covered bacon heart attack is gonna happen sooner or later. Well, yes, but I'm not pounding down chocolate-covered bacon. I just happen to like it. I'm not really into the whole carnival food scene most of the time. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know what I'm making. I'm making something. A, a base of sorts that is base-like in shape. I don't know. I'm gonna do like a double winged base. Don't ask me what that means. I'm sure it means something. I need one more foundation for what I'm building. I can't see! Well, oh, we need more than one foundation. These are gonna be up on the ground. Oh, crud. Alright, I need more. Needs more foundations. Bacon maple donuts are good. Mm, I believe you. Hold on, I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I need seven more of those foundation pieces. I don't know if I have enough materials here. Seven? Yeah. If meat wasn't so expensive right now, I'd uh, be fine doing the carnivore diet. Yeah. Cryptic Fox, was it my comment before mate steam? Uh, stream ended where I said that you should play Icarus and said it was seven days that day that you made Oh, yes, it was. Thank you, Stella <laughs> Yeah, I popped in a Nate stream and I think it was your comment actually that that told me that uh, We were coming down to the wire. I had 30 minutes to go and get my, uh, my Character off planet. So thank you for that because I had completely forgotten and my character would definitely be dead As opposed to just being eaten seven times by a bear it would have been dead dead, you know? So thanks for that. <laughs> I had 100% forgotten. I know that's hard to believe because I normally have a mind like a steel trap. But, uh, yeah. I had forgotten. Okay, so this will be my foundation. I guess. I don't know where I'm going to put the entrance to it, but whatever. Um, so I'm thinking I'll have like one wing will be my, uh, my my living area space so I'll do like a bedding and a kitchen and that kind of stuff over here and then over here We'll have like a bu bunch of our different crafting benches. I need to clear some trees out so we have a better view because this is uh Lightly obstructed. Let's just say and we'll maybe do like a double door with uh, staircase things at the front here Beautiful Fox, developers said they plan on adding 10 times content to Vampire Survivors. Oh, nice. That is such a fun game for like three bucks. I've already I've already spent a few hours playing that game. When I was sick, I, I played it a bunch. 
I made like a super overpowered old dude. The, what's his name? Poe or whatever with, that starts with the, the garlic ability. Like by the time I, I got approaching 30 minutes, like nothing could, could even come close to me. It was great. <laughs> the fun game. It's almost like a time killing game, almost like a, like a Steam game would be, but not Steam game, um, a mobile game. Yeah, it's Poe, yeah. Rusted stab, grab a steel, steel, that's right, you've got it. 100% rusted. Well, I finally done it, I broke my axe. Make me happy that I decided to actually say it, so you're so welcome. Yeah, I totally would have died. I, ha I had completely forgotten. I was so busy being sick. Uh, I don't know why I thought I had more time to do that mission. But if you hadn't said anything, that would have turned out poorly. All is right in the world now. From the perspective of being wrong. <laughs> uh. Max. Where did I put the other one? I need to take those down. <laughs> More deaths! <laughs> Thanks, musicals, Miss Singer. I think we've got enough already tonight. Thank you very much. Not that we're not gonna have more, but necessarily want more, you know what I'm saying? What I mean, Burn? What I mean? Yeah, you know what I mean. Uh no. No, wait. Yes, no. What? I need more stone. More foundations. How many more of these can I make? One, two, three, four. Uh, I want those side wings to be just a little bit bigger. Again, we're, we're completely overbuilding. There's absolutely no need to build as much as I'm going to, but whatever. No, the trees don't respawn. I'm bleeding. I'm not bleeding. That's a, oh, that's a buffalo. No bleeding. We're fine. Unless you're, uh, you might actually, you might be way behind on the stream. Ah! Get away from my house, wolves. And boars. Bork showed up to eat my wolf. Ah, wolf! <laughs> Press seven. Trying to make me eat rotten meat? I don't think so. In the stream was our gladiator. I thought the gladiator survives. are glad he <laughs> Oh, I see. Was his name Russell? Out of curiosity. Russell the bear. Let's do history. You got a fistula, one surgeon, blah, blah, blah. Chrome's disease. Oh, man. 
Got a whole string of stuff going on there, Lance. Sorry to hear that. Oh, I got ex I'm, I'm exposed. I'm exposing myself. That's not appropriate. I think I might actually need to pick up all those pieces I put down and move them. Alright. Got a little bit more stone. Not as much as I wanted. Uh, I need six... I need more nails. More nails! To me, more nails. There we go. Need six more of these. Bear's name is Buddy, like the dog. Oh, isn't it cute? <laughs> I thought it was no. Yeah, it is on my OnlyFans as well. Feel free to sign up. Context. <laughs> How did I have a seven? Oh, there we go. The building. There we go. I have a feeling the one end of this stuff is going to clip into the ground just because of the angle of the, the dirt here. If it does, I need to pick up all these foundation pieces and put them back down again so that it works right. Because reasons. Ah, uh, crud. Can't even see for all the rubble. Body rubble? Okay. Try this again. Oh boy, that's gonna be a little bit steeper than I was thinking. I think I'm gonna need more than I bargained for here. Holy crap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, how am I out already? But that, that explains it. I didn't have these ones equipped. Ooh, you know what? Maybe I'll do like a multi-level house we have like a staircase that comes down inside the house to this lower level and it's almost like a back split but it's like a i guess like a, what would that be like a side split we have a side split house no, i don't know maybe not i don't think i like that idea Two more foundations I need. Yeah, I was thinking like, so I'm, I'm thinking of putting like stairs right here that go up and make this the front entrance. Um, I was like, well, I wouldn't need to do that if I had the lower level down here. That was like a weird like side split kind of thing. I don't know. Whatever. Make a giant mansion. <laughs> it's just so that we can take off in the planet at the end of the day tomorrow and leave it all behind. We need to have like a jacuzzi and a hot tub and... Pretty sure I'm gonna need more stone. Is that rotten meat? It is. <laughs> hey Capper, how you doing? Trying to get an Icarus Architectural Digest? Stop faffing about. <laughs> That's right. It is in, it is Icarus Intellectual. In, it, what have you ever said? Architectural Digest. We gotta be, you know, it's gotta be fancy. Fancy.
I'm already like grossly over designing this thing. We're gonna need a lot of stone. Oh, I broke my pickaxe. Well, that's gonna require us to go back home. At this point, your version of fancy should be no bears inside. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You're not wrong. I'll give you that. All right, for walls, I need uh, three, six, so eight across the back, and twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and six is twenty-two walls. I'm gonna need. I don't have enough stone. I don't think. <laughs> Considering I don't have, an, I definitely don't have enough nails. But go. Need 22 stone walls. That's a bit much. Yeah. Definitely, definitely gonna need more walls. More stone. Definitely need more stone. Look at this. I'm gonna start storing stuff in here. I don't have room. Oh, right. I gotta fix this. That's why I came back here. Everybody's got to get stoned. Instead of a side split, that car could be a walk out basement section that leads to. Well, what I'm actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm thinking I'm going to have a walk in, like a, a staircase up here that comes up to the front entrance with double doors. You come in and we'll have living quarters on. Uh, we'll do the living quarters on this end. So this will be my living quarter side. I'll do all my crafting and stuff with our, my benches over in this side. And then maybe I'll do like a door on the side here that goes out down to a lower landing area where I'll have a garden. And we'll do like farm plots down there. And then tomorrow I'll leave and it'll all vanish. <laughs> that makes that makes perfect sense. I'm gonna clear up those trees before a storm knocks them in your base. Yeah, I'll knock them down. I'm just kind of gradually working away at it. We arrived for the fox detector. <laughs> Throat shot. No walking closet or giant bat. You know, we don't have enough time and resources to make all that kind of fancy stuff. When, if I ever actually go into the, uh, the outpost mode and build in there, we'll make something big and fancy that has uh, a well-appointed kitchen and... Glass walls and walk-in shower and all that kind of stuff. Can I trick the bear to run off the end of this thing? Yep. <laughs> Take that, you stupid bear. Ah! I'm sure a headshot will finish him. Nope, no. Oh, it got it, didn't it? Who's next? Stupid wolf got me with a laceration. Jeez. They just don't quit, man. What's my favorite game to build in? Uh, but that's a good question. I had a lot of fun building stuff in Grounded, to be honest. Because we could do like interesting things with like the bounce pads and stuff to make elevators and stuff. That was kind of fun to build in. 
I don't know if I have a, like a, a, a favorite, but I did really enjoy that one. Alright, I need, uh... I need stuff to make a bandage. That's gonna take, uh, a little bit of fiber. Should be able to get that with just a swipe or two. And there's a wolf. The animals are just crazy in this area, for crying out loud. <laughs> like, I don't even need to, uh, to bother with the skinning bench. There's just so many. Nutty. Where'd that wolf go that I was skinning? Alright. Did I get it for the bandage? I should've. Yeah. Poivict! Not like they did this on purpose. What, the uh, increase? Uh. The increased uh, bear thing, you mean? Maybe. Maybe they wanted to make it more challenging or something. Maybe they just thought it was too... Uh, too simple. Like the wildlife didn't present as much of a challenge as they wanted it to or something. I don't know. <laughs> 69 bones, giggity. <laughs> Giggity goo. All right. Okay, how much stone do I have on me? I'm, I'm getting weighted down by all these animal parts. You know, they're just too many parts of animals on me. Increase like the beta, yeah. It might have been intentional. Imagine if bears hunted in packs. Oh man, that would be just awful until you had a good weapon. Like if you can catch the bear by surprise, you can kill it in two shots sometimes. Maybe not so much with the bow I have, but... You get that headshot as a surprise shot and then follow up with a headshot and you can generally drop him. Spears are supposed to be good for that too. If you throw them and get a headshot, you can obliterate something, but... Back, I had to go show your daughter who was still the karate master. Lol, JK, she's just small and funny. <laughs> Isn't that cave all afternoon today? Didn't see one bear, but I heard them. Well, I'm outside the cave right now, and let me tell you, there's a lot of them out here. Been an endless parade of berry goodness. Them and wolves. And boars, too. We had a lot of boars. It's so boring. Eh. Good cave, though. There's so much uh, resource in here. Yeah, we've had so many pigs. I'm going to start my own bacon company. Minecraft is a lot of fun, too. World corrupts. I never got super into Minecraft. Played around with it a little bit. Guess it just wasn't my jam. I kinda I do kinda like a game that has some kind of an objective to it. My, that's not Minecraft. Minecraft is just so open ended. I mean granted you can go to the you can do the whole ender thing and kill the ender dragon, but um at the time that I was playing it, it was like it was kind of like directionless. It was more like people who seemed to enjoy the game most were the ones who A just enjoyed building all kinds of stuff, or B came up with their own ways to play a game within the game. Maybe I'm just not creative enough. Possible too. Um I forgot how many walls I needed. Was it twenty two? Up to twenty. I want to make a fireplace too, actually, now that I think of it. I need a fireplace. This stuff's all smelted. I can turn that off. Save the coal.
Like parkour Minecraft videos? Oh, yeah. Have I ever played Minecraft Dungeons? I have, actually, yeah. There's a couple videos on the channel from when I played it. It was fun for what it was. You know, it's like a really simplistic version of Diablo, basically. Love the dad jokes? Well, that's good, because I don't have anything but dad jokes. <laughs> I ran all out of funny material years ago. Most of it I can't even remember now. Brain like a sieve. Those are heavy. Yeah, B. So funny how heavy walls and ceiling pieces are in this relative to uh, relative to the the foundations. Pick your own hoarder bases. You usually take over a tall office building for your crafting base. Oh, you're talking about in uh, Seven Days to Die, yeah. That game's fun, too. Alright, what do I want to build now? I mean, aside from, you know, base. I need to bother putting windows in the back of this thing because who wants to look at the cave anyway? Oh. Man, I'm way shorter. Oh, man, I totally miscounted something. I need at least four more. Yeah, let's be good. Four more. We need uh, stairs. Every place you go, you see ads and stuff for it. Have you looked at... Oh, Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Gonna play Elden Ring. I really like Dark Souls. Uh, and Elden Ring is like the spiritual successor. So I'll definitely be playing that. I don't know how well it's gonna do with the channel. Because it's not really in line with you know, like a lot of the a normal arti uh, audience or whatever. But it's just one of those things where it's like, I like it. So I'm gonna play it anyway. Hopefully it's good. You don't want windows to face the cave. The cave is offended. That's right. It's this deep, dark, scary opening. Have I played Sekiro? I haven't actually. Sekiro, is that on PC? I know it was on PlayStation, but... Door to the cave, window to the walls. To the window, to the walls! And various other lyrics from the song, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I need probably, well, let's get four of these for now. I need four more of these. You should play RL Craft. I did play a little bit of it, actually. I have a couple videos of that on the channel also. I've kind of played a lot of, a lot of random stuff. I was using shaders, though. The PC that I had was struggling with the shaders I was using, so it, I kind of ended up and putting it on hold or whatever and didn't pick it back up, but... Hooray, weather! You're not allowed to play games you like. Who do you think you are, a pro streamer? <laughs> you think those pro streamers play games they like? I'm gonna go with no. Look at how many of those pros are still playing Fortnite and complaining about every minute of it. They just can't let it go because it's too much of a good revenue stream for them. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this will be good. Definitely. 
definitely could. Ooh, this side here, I actually could have gone without the foundations and done a two-story on that side. Ah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. It's not like we need it. Right? We don't, we don't need it, right? You never play any games I like on stream, and yet you're still here, Manning, so I appreciate that. <laughs> you set shadows to medium, you can see in case. I know, you can tweak the settings to make the lighting kind of funky. Uh, I don't really like doing that. I'd rather just play it with the experience it's intended to give. Plus, this cave's already kind of weird. It's not labeled as a cave, so it doesn't really get dark in there the same way. You know, you want to Fox redo it? If if this mission was la lasted longer, like I would actually, but it's not going to, so I'm not going to. In seven days. What's the best biome for coal mining? Uh. I don't know, the desert probably? Just find a coal node and dig down. I don't know. I am not a pro at that game either. <laughs> this house is definitely going to be over-engineered. Come on, man, make it two stories. Burnt woods by them? All right. Pick what they said for, for a fact. That's probably true. <laughs> what do I know? Uh, ooh, wood cover. I need copper nails for that. I want to. I want to get a couple wood cupboards going in there. Let's make. Uh, well, see if I do one thing of copper nails, it could be ten, and I think it takes what four for the cupboard to send. Maybe not. Dealer, I need rope. Oh god, there's no room. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Build all glad house, glass houses and then throw rocks. <laughs> Those who live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. Kind of wish you could make it out of glass in these missions, but there's just no point. I mean, it's too weak, so it breaks. You gotta fix it. It takes too much to build up to it, so there's there's literally no point when you're doing missions. Like this, the farthest you really want to go is these stone buildings, because there's no benefit to doing concrete. Uh. Room here. there we go. That'll get me some storage out there at least. Finally. What are we doing here? All right. Okay. So if I if I take out those foundations, I could do. <laughs> Lower floor for no reason at all. Uh, should I bother? I feel like I should. I don't know. I don't think I want to. Okay, so the one side I'm gonna need one, two, three, four. Like eight of these. Oh. <laughs> all right. Stone is a problem again. We need, need lots of stone. Listen to the explanation. Hey, Fox, remember you just got the hang glider. You can jump off cliffs now. Not in this game. Can't fool me. I may be crazy, but I'm mostly not stupid. 
Oh, I kind of under anticipated what I would need roofing wise. I see. <laughs> I made one roof piece. Hooray! It's a house now. Um Actually, I want to I want to use these cupboards out here, but there's probably no point in putting them down because the weather will just destroy them on me. Let's go with the super chat. Come on, Fox, find some more bears to kill. Man. Stop it! Why'd you do that? Oh my god, they're breaking my stone stairs, really? You jerks. Unbelievable. Like really, like the moment after you send the super chat. Boom, there. <laughs> This isn't Twitch, right? There isn't like one of those Twitch integration things where they can like trigger things to spawn in your game. Housewarming committee. They've already damaged my stairs, man. I'm insulted. Those smells of dead bear. <laughs> I'd say you know it's a home. I can't pick up any of these rocks here. What is up with that? That's a decorative rock. Not really. It must be... Oh, you know what? There's probably stuff that fell off the stairs when they damaged it. So in that regard, it is a decorative rock. If it was, we'd spot all sorts of the guns. I bet you would, yeah. That would be problematic. The bears of the Riverlands are tough. Like normally a sneak attack shot and a and a headshot is enough to kill them, but not here. They're stronger. I have a repair hammer actually already. It's back at the base. In the little cave base. If you build a hot tub, the bears are going to rush in for the fox soup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. Somebody said, I has titch integration. You should try it. We won't hurt you. We promise. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you will, Ryan. Yep. <laughs> I don't stream on Twitch anymore, though. I did uh, years ago, a little, just a little bit. I do all my streams on YouTube now. I didn't think it made a lot of sense to try to split my audience between different platforms. It's hard enough getting uh, large numbers of people to show up on one place, never mind trying to do it in two places. Um, okay. Need more of these. Many more of these. <laughs> what Ryan said, we totally wouldn't do that. Nope, we wouldn't. You do sound awfully innocent. All right, I believe you. No, I don't. It's a bit cumbersome seeing people try to do that. To, to try to like, yeah, there's a lot actually, there's a lot of YouTubers that have larger channels on YouTube that make a point of not streaming on YouTube. They stream on Twitch instead. Because they're worried about streaming impacting the performance of other videos on their channel, which it 100% does. In a negative way. So they'll stream on Twitch and then, you know, they'll either just leave it there and just do streams, or they'll they'll use whatever they streamed on Twitch and they'll clip it down and use them for videos that they'll upload to YouTube after. You make it sound like we want you to die every five seconds. No, actually, you want me to die every four seconds. <laughs> Uh, 
Your Twitch is set up so content creators become cutthroat with one another. Witness Pokimane. It's not that it's set up so that they become that way. I think there's... I think there's a certain... It's harder to get an audience on on Twitch. And, you know, like, if you if you catch a trend and you and you're, you grow to be a larger streamer, you're doing really good. Uh, there's, there isn't a discovery system in the same way that there is on YouTube, where you could be, like, just checking stuff out and things are recommended to you. At least not in the same way. So it could be hard to be to be discovered, right? Um, that's why, you, you know, for the most part, they're playing all the same kinds of games, and... There's a lot of, like, first-person shooting games. Because those are the, the, the sort of caught on, but... Fairly techy, and every room has a comp and a large screen. I don't follow Twitch streams unless I am at my desk. Tagback TV is pretty accurate. I watch Tagback TV. What do you mean by he's pretty accurate? Uh, R. R. Okay, this is where everything gets weird, if I remember. I'm trying to make these things merge together the way that I want. Yeah, this is gonna be weird. <laughs> I was gonna take a little experiment to get this right, I think. Uh, and I'm still like really overloaded because I'm carrying far too much stuff. Have you tried the new half roof pieces, Fox? Half roof pieces? I says pardon. Uh, do you mean are they like a thirty like the thirty degree roof kind of thing? Go to tier three. Wait, tier two? Where's the stone roofs? Oh, they're there. Uh, so the stone half pitches, stone half pieces. Half and quarter size building elements for detailed construction. No, I haven't tried those at all yet, actually. Didn't even have them locked. Now I do. Get those two stone half pitches. Reinforced door, why not? There's a lot of bears here. We might need it. Uh, his comments on the Twitch versus YouTube. Twitch has 20 to 30k average viewers. YouTube has millions on average. He has a business analysis video out where he discusses it. Oh, I haven't looked at that, no. Um, but yes, there's there's been a lot of that kind of discussion about the two different platforms. Generally speaking, you can... If, I, you can... You can get to a point where you're able to monetize and earn money on Twitch faster than you can on YouTube because there's conditions to earn on YouTube. Uh, and those conditions are much less stringent on um, on Twitch. You only need like 30 concurrent viewer average or something to become an affiliate. And when you're an affiliate, you can get bits and members. And then become partner, you can get ad like advertisements or whatever. So for some people, they, they choose to build over there because they can get to the monetization point faster. But it, they're not really looking at the long long game, I don't think. They're just looking at that short-term, I'm going to get the monetization quicker. That was a lot less cooperative play on Twitch as well. I, I subbed to Nate after watching yours, Valheim play. I just don't see that kind of stuff on Twitch. I'm sure it happens, but uh, I, there's so many... Um, I don't know. I feel like the... the um, not the market, but like the... Uh, the atmosphere on Twitch is more about, like, those competitive shooting style games, I feel like. At least that's what it seems like to me. Th those are the ones that seem to do better, and so there's more people to play them. I've got so much junk on me right now. Okay, I need a lot more of these roof pieces, which means... Oh, I just took all the wood away. That was super smart. 
I'm the smartest. The smurderest. Uh, I also need some of these stone roof corners, so I'm gonna need, um... At least four of them. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna need eight of them. <laughs> Yay, more bears! Just what we needed. Bring on them bears. Over eight minute abs, I'm going for... Uh, gonna make a video for seven minute abs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Need a back door that goes to the cave. I, I'll, I'll think about doing something like that, maybe. Suppose it would save running all the way around the building. Twitches for games like Rust, etc. But there's also a lot of like um, Call of Duty, Fortnite, um, you know, various first person shooting games, uh, League of Legends. Although the just chatting has, has gotten to be a big thing on Twitch. Or the people just like hang out and talk or whatever. And not always in hot tubs either. It's only sometimes. <laughs> um, I'm gonna need more of these, I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna need more stone. Doesn't matter to me. I can't watch Switch, so I'm happy for creators like Cryptic. Well, thanks, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I said duty. Yeah, Battlefield. There's a lot of that on on uh, on Twitch. I find. There's also a big audience for it, which is why there's so much of it. We would totally pay you to not, uh, or totally pay you to not be in a hot tub stream. That's great. Uh, yeah, I'm taking donations now. If you want me to not be in a hot tub stream, feel free to donate. <laughs> Take your bacon and go home. No, I'm just gonna leave the bodies there. I, I'm, I'm so tired of skinning them. <laughs> There's been so many. So, so many. Eight. Okay, I need, uh... Mm -hmm. yes, yes, like that. This one. Uh, that's not shaped the right way. Go. Are you joking? Why did I leave the bodies? <laughs> oh God. Oh God, I'm out of, I'm out of here. Oh, my item broke. This is great. What is with this place? <laughs> I broke my bow. They broke my stairs. Oh my goodness, neighbors just came, uh, or is it? Neighbors just came to bring you banana bread and you killed them. <laughs> Well, they came over unannounced. It's their own fault, you know? If they had let me know they were going to come visit, then I would have been more inclined. That... Okay, uh, nope. Game's out to get me, man. It's out to get me. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to have a leather shortage. I've got, I've also got plenty of fur for making, uh, fur armor to go to the... Yeah, I, I really need to go fix my bow. I <laughs> think if there's more of them to come back, I need, I need the bow to shoot at them with. I'll leave the bodies, he said. What could go wrong, he said. Well, I, I was kind of thinking the animals would focus on eating the bodies and leave me alone up in my building, but... Clearly I was wrong. Look at all the meat I have. 70 meat stored up. It's a good thing we're getting lots of bones too, actually, because we'll need that for epoxy. So it's it does have some benefits to it. I mean 
does have some benefits. Musical Miss Singer with Super Chat. Die, Fox die, see Fox die. <laughs> we live though, take that. In your face, Dondlinger. The kill -a bear workshop, that's right. <laughs> Okay. Back to building, theoretically. I don't know if I'll be able to place this other piece just yet. gonna be hard to stick on here just because of what I'm trying to do. Uh, let's go with the peak piece. That might actually help me place it. Seven. There we go. Yeah. That's working. That is definitely not. What? What did I do? <laughs> this piece is not right. Okay. Shoot, I need more, uh, more roofy pieces. See what I'm doing here. Okay, I, I think I need to. I gotta have to get that other rupees before I can do this. Good lord. More stone. Look out, I just like roofs on newer houses. They look like Picasso paintings. So I. Totally not cheering for your death or anything. Oh, no, absolutely not, Ashley. I appreciate the super chat, so at least you're, uh. Celebrating my death. <laughs> you run to the Arctic Biome and into the caves there. You can grab uh, shrooms that make the best buff meals in the game. Oh, they have the mushrooms in, in the game now? I, I saw that you could buy them in the workshop, but I wasn't sure if they actually had like a place they spawned on the map yet. So that's good to know. There's a few different recipes you can make with the mushrooms too. You hear bear. Yeah, there's there's kind of been a never-ending stream of the bears. I should call this place Bear Home. Supposed to be in caves. That kind of makes sense. Mushrooms like to grow in like dank, dark places. People's basements, you know, all them places. They're starting to shut down your construction site due to inspection violations. They feel like I've moved into their territory too much, maybe. They're like, I'm encroaching on their... on their, uh... natural habitat. But like, listen, I didn't approve this building. I, I'm not convinced you're even using natural materials, are you? What about the local water? Are you are you affecting the water in any way? Here it's only Arctic caves though, okay. Funny that the mushrooms grow in Arctic caves, that's weird. Mushrooms grow where it's moist. 
Though that word is used. Oh, the moistness. <laughs> Not enough things in this game to kill me. There's an overabundance of them. Did you see how many times we died? Game's out to get me, man. Devs put them in there specifically to hurt me. I saw that my, uh, my one video was in, uh, the Community Roundup or something video they had posted the other day. Someone messaged me on one of the videos, and again, I can't remember who it was because I'm the worst person in the world for names. But someone left a comment telling me that, uh, uh, that was in the community thing. It was the, the one time we played when there was a mission that we had to go find this capsule in the Arctic, and the capsule had landed on a polar bear and killed it. <laughs> XP positive, time to die. Yeah. I leveled up, actually. Not that it matters. At this point. I'm encumbered already. What am I doing? Pretty sure none of this is naturals and it's been terraformed. Fair enough. Fair enough. Wizard of Oz bear, yeah. <laughs> it's the wicked bear of the West. Rotten bear. That was coming to him. Deserved it. Right, I said it. Uh, how many of these pieces do I need? Make two, just for safekeeping. Uh, I also need that hammer. Where did I put that repair hammer? I gotta go fix my stone stairs so that the neighbors broke. Rotten neighbors. Worst neighbors ever. Where you spend two whole streams building up and complete the quest in five minutes. Yep, that sounds about right. I do that most of the time in this game. I spend way more time building in this game than is necessary. But I like building in games like these. Just that it's all very non-permanent is all. Uh, this side's done. I need this side. Oh, I only did need one more roof piece, I guess. Okay, that's fine. Deploy. Switch this to the peak. Clap that up there, and then I'm gonna need this last piece to go... Definitely that one, but I gotta get it to turn properly. It's not... Oop, that's not right. Ooh, it snapped on so easily on the other one. What happened there? This side was like... It went in like bada. It was like perfect. It just like snapped right into place. It was so fantastic. No, I can't get this to work. Old school with Super Chat. Build hedgehog spikes to defend against bears. I probably should. Maybe I didn't ro rotate it right. No, it's definitely... Hmm. It really worked so easily last time. Why is it not working now? Maybe it's the trees. The trees fault. They're in the way. Crud. Every piece but this one went in so good. So good. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? If they screw it, we'll work on the uh, end pieces. So I'm gonna need four more walls. Then uh, three, six, nine, twelve of the corner pieces. I mean, the tree might be interfering. I'll chop it down because these these gotta come down anyway. Don't come down on my head, please. this old house. <laughs> A 
Spent three to six hours prepping to do a 15 minute run, been there too many times. That's, that is really the, the gaming experience in this game for the most part I've found. Usually the mission itself, once you've gotten all the things you need in order to attempt it, the missions usually are actually very quick to complete. Uh, okay. The need four of these. I mean, more nails. Fox Vila. <laughs> We'll laugh and send a super chat if stairs get broken again. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh. Oh crap. Um. I didn't think I'd have to deal with lightning just yet. Although we have been playing for like three hours, so it's pretty much on target for when it should be happening, I guess. I didn't plan for lightning. The stone building is fine. This one, however, is in a cave that's not in a cave, so it could get hit by lightning and catch on fire. Which is maybe a little less than ideal. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh god, please don't burn down this little building. I need it still. I'm not done with this thing. Wait, eight? No, nine. Have you built a firewhacker? No, I didn't actually. I see Cryptic Fox channel being mentioned by Icarus Dev. Good job, Fox. Saw that clip. Yeah, it was neat. Neat. They must have gone back and looked at some stuff or, or something because um, that was from a while ago too. And it was just one clip in like a three hour stream, so I'm surprised. Maybe the storm effects aren't as strong in here, because the building itself is not taking any wind damage. like a violent storm though man like a stone roof for the cave shack i think it could you can i think the lightning can actually strike wood interior pieces even i'm not positive but it did i did have one come up that way save there's no saving there's only leaving it does the game auto saves You know what? Oh, now it is. Right here, it's not giving me any exposure, so it is actually treating this like it's a cave, even though it doesn't call it one. I think the building will be fine. Huh. I think we're good. I don't think it's going to be an issue. I wonder when we're done if this thing from the front is gonna look like a little cat face with little pointy ears. <laughs> Fair. No. Definitely had a lightning strike out here. That's burning down out there. Alright. Uh over here. Okay, I think if I put the pieces in here. And we might be able to convince this thing to place where I want it to. <laughs> of course it's not. Why wouldn't you? That's I gotta have it turned the wrong way, maybe. Flip that around. It's definitely not facing the right way.
No, it was. There we go. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> like a monumental effort every time I try to do a roof in this game. That's backwards. happy when the stupid cough goes away. Good lord. Upgrade hammer works perfectly now, does it? So we upgrade from wood to uh, <clears throat> wood to stone for these like angled pieces, it does it right correctly now? Oh my god, finally. All right, I need doors. And fire insurance. <laughs> oh, man, this was like a monumental effort just to make this silly thing. Those angle pieces just right? Nice. Because the way it was before, it would replace them with ones that were facing the wrong direction. So it's nice that's sorted out. Uh, what do we do? Oh, yeah. Reinforced doors. Where do I make those? Ah, crud. <laughs> Can't win. Always short on something. Um, let's make more nail. Actually, do I have leftover nails in here? I do. Lots of them. Lots of nails. I want reinforced windows too, so I'm gonna need a bunch of the uh, grass stuff, but let's make it daytime so we can uh, see what we're doing. Oh, I also need uh, stone out of here so I can make the fireplace stuff that I wanted to make. I want all those bear skins. I watched a guy earlier that took three hours to find all the skins to complete his mission, complaining about all the bears he was seeing before it started. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't actually need that money, uh, that much fur, to be honest. Oh. Uh... You know what? I'll take these because I can put them in the other base. No, I'm overweight. Good times. I can go there. You imagine streaming DL2 and has less watchers than you do. Yeah, I don't know what it is with, like, this, the streams for that were really, really poor relative to what I would normally experience. So bad. Not impressed at all. But there's also a problem with data analytics on YouTube right now where, like, sometimes when you're watching a stream, it'll look like it'll, the number of people viewing, it'll go down to, like, one or two. And then jump back up to what it's actually at. It's weird. And it, and that affects the search results, I guess. So I don't know. Maybe it's a function of that. Either way, it's strange. Why don't they see me through a rock when I'm wearing a ghillie suit and crouching? Out of here. Get out of here. Okay, uh, I think I'll do my living quarters at this end. I was gonna do the other end, but I think I'll do this end. Oh, forgot. Can't place. You can't place the fireplace directly on the on the foundations. I gotta have a floor piece. Great, perfect.
All right. Need some more things. Oh, I was gonna get grass too. Fiber, whatever. That's not fiber. Use wood floor piece. You get like a weird clipping effect when you use wood and the stone though. So I'll just go make a stone floor and I'll just drop that in. Last three days I've seen people like uh, Pim Tool have 20,000 viewers, but it says 12, not 12k, 12. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I, um, one of the people that follows the channel and hangs out in our Discord actually works for YouTube. Um, and he said that it was, uh, there was a ticket raised for it as a broader problem. But yeah, but I saw, I saw a channel the other day, they were playing, um, Dying Light 2, and the the prior day, because they were a tiny, tiny channel, the prior day they had had a two-hour stream with a total number of 25 views on it. Not like concurrent viewers, but just a total of 25 views. And and then the next day when I looked at the, when I was doing some searching to see how stuff was coming up in search results, they had like 750 concurrent people on their stream. And they it was like a non-commentary um, channel too. That's weird. 25 total views one day, and then 750 concurrent the next day. I was like, good for them, but that's really wacky results. Always something. That's all right. Just the nature of the beast. Uh, all right, so I have the floor. That'll let me put in the fireplace. Uh, I guess I should make a... I'm going to need to bring some other materials in here with me. Bring these stuff. Super overloaded again. Start bringing all the all the key things out here that I'm gonna need, like, uh... I'll need to make a crafting bench out here. Eat something, I'm starving. No, I'm not starving, I'm just hungry. I have lots of food. You're lucky I don't need to kill you, animal. Got an overabundance of meat and other substances. Okay. Deploy. We'll stick that in there. And then now we can deploy the fireplace. Oop. Uh. Oop. I have to go outside to put the top on it. Not that it needs a top, but it just will look unfinished if we don't have it. must snap. There we go. <laughs> Huzzah! Okay, so I'm gonna put the bed over here, I think. So, or maybe I'll put the bed by the window? I need a place to put the dresser. Maybe this is in the bad spot. Put a little cupboard over here. I'm gonna put one over on this side too somewhere. Uh whatever. So we have a storage container in here. Don't you even think about it. I don't know if I should kill those things proactively or just leave them be, because if I kill them, it just brought it seems to bring in more. That's even possible at this point. By the door. Go. I don't know why I put that in there. Alright. Still don't have my doors finished, but what did I need for the... Oh, I needed rope, didn't I? That's why I got all that fiber. Where did I put the fiber? I mean, I didn't leave it in here. 
Yes, I did. <laughs> Where are you gonna put your vanity bench just to give it something to do for all the extra fur? I don't know. I haven't done like the whole taxidermy bench thing at all in the game even. Um alright, so the shutters I need I need uh one, two, three, four, I need five of these. I'm gonna need twenty of these. Fur rugs would explain why the bears are, in, are attacking. <laughs> I wish we could make fur rugs. It'd be nice to have some of those kind of like little decorative elements. Roll left shift moves all items of type. Yeah, I know. I just uh, I sometimes forget when I'm clicking around on stuff. <clears throat> oh, I need uh, those. Oh, not 29. Oh, stop that. <laughs> okay, hold on. I want two of these doors. And I need five of these. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm going to run short of a few things. Might be all the bear kibble I'm carrying in my pocket. Maybe. Actually, it's been like stashing it there, waiting for the bears to catch a uh, catch wind of, of it. Ten bears show up in level. I mean, can you imagine like just this onslaught of bears come and tear down the stone building? Be so mad. <laughs> I need five of these windows. Uh, okay, we need more. This. What else do I need? One, three, four, five. Uh, oh, more rope. Okay, so I need uh, seven more rope. <clears throat> it would be funny, you know, except for the, that this is already the second time I've had to, uh, I've had to do the first part of this mission because I got sick and didn't finish it before. There's only so many times you want to redo the same mission over and over again, you know? <laughs> the American has dog biscuits in his pocket. <laughs> yeah. Except I'm not American, I'm Canadian. Same principle though, I guess. Boop. Okay. Our vastly over-engineered house is already almost ready. That's a bear. Where the bear? There's gonna be a bear. I'm not giving them been Warthog a chance to get involved in the fight. There he is. Maybe you should look into those hedgehogs. Maybe I should. <laughs> what tier are they? Oh! Went right by his nose. Oh, again. I want to make sure I get the headshot. That. That wasn't a headshot. How about arrows? <laughs> what did I do? I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Why? Why did I do it? Oh my god, I lived. <laughs> I am... I'm very not smart sometimes. Oh... 
Jeez. <sighs> Hello, I'm Cryptic Fox. I am not very smart. There we go. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I want right hinge, and I'll get over here at the same time. That was not right. What? <laughs> That's not right. I did it again. <laughs> there we go. Oh my god. <laughs> only I feel like I'm I'm the only one who could manage to make putting in windows difficult. There we go. Reinforced windows which are entirely not needed, but they look better when they open. There we go. Reinforced door which is needed because the bears in this place be crazy. <laughs> I need more arrows. Oh, God. Oh, I should have put a landing out here. That was an oversight. Makes it a little weird for opening the door. No one told me to make arrows. I don't know what you're talking about. Should make flint arrows. Get some, uh, let's get some iron. I'll make some flint. Thing is that we over have an overabundance of iron. Oh, I, guess I should probably heal myself too, huh? <laughs> don't let those haters convince you to make more arrows. <laughs> we don't need no stinking arrows. The wildlife around here is really very tame. Really very tame. I honestly thought we'd be way more ready than I am right now to go do the mission, but I did kind of spend a stupid amount of time making a base we don't need but whatever it's all fun and games I was bleeding I just took care of it we were a little uh, we were a little rough around the edges Those were in for the attack. All right. I wasn't expecting piranhas in that water. A couple fishies. Paid extra for the bitey fishes in the cave. <laughs> Rotten bitey fish. Like fish tacos. Piranhas aren't as dangerous as the movies portray. I mean, that's true of many things portrayed in movies, I guess. I just heard a weird glass thump in my house. Bears are here. Someone call 911. Still streaming, huh? Yeah, well, actually, it is getting kind of late. I'm going to have to wrap it up. I'd like to move some of this stuff to the other, the other proper base. Bearapalooza. <laughs> I can hardly bear it. 
Wrong number, Cryptic Fox. It's 999. 666 is what it is. Not bears. Hmm. I'm slightly overloaded. 175 kilograms out of a possible 126. Look at that, baby deer hanging out with a buffalo. That's very sweet. Almost killed him. Not that I needed to. Like, I literally have no need of meat or leather or anything. I have so much. Okay. Uh, oh, shoot. I should have put the stuff in the smelter. Uh, okay. Well, we got a bunch of this random stuff here I can leave here. Oh, actually, if I take this and some stone... Fiber. I might be able to make another crafting bench, so I can leave the other one there. Ah, I need 12 stone, that figures. These ones I'll take into the smelting caves in there, so that's fine. I have too much meat. Go. Okay. Oh, darn it, I left the fiber in there. There. About time. <laughs> oh, good grief. What a day. What a day. Dead like right here. Perfect. Perfect. So this side over here will be where we'll do all the crafting benches and stuff. I'm going to probably need more storage over here too, I guess. And then over here I want to do a kitchen in this section. Maybe I'll put a window in these walls just so that there's light in the kitchen area. Uh, I'm going to put my bed over here. Maybe we'll put a table and chairs in for you know a decorative look. Again, 100% wasted space. <laughs> I gotta put these weapons or these tools rather back on my ship so that they go back to the planet with me or off the planet with me to the station. Maybe I'll leave them here for now. Definitely need more storage space though. Take a carpentry bench and hedgehogs. Hedgehogs. I mean, we have a whole bunch of benches to make now. I need to make the carpentry bench. Uh, I'm going to need to make uh, the cement mixer. I'm going to need... So oh, man. There we go. Take all this. I can leave the fire here because it doesn't matter. Like the bed roll for now. Although I'm going to make a proper, uh, proper bed eventually. This bench, I'll just take the contents. Oops. Little, little mortar and pestle too. Old oh, crud. <laughs> oh, all right, I got a lot of stuff in there. That's gonna need. That's gonna need more trips. Every day above ground is a good day. That is true. Had trouble using the correct term for the equatory opening. <laughs> Medically correct term for bum. <laughs> bum. He said bum. Don't look at me, cockeyed. I'll shoot you. Another bear. Another bear. <laughs> Too 
stupid bears. Stupid bears and their stupid, stupids. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm mad. There we go. Okay, we can put, uh, put our animal down over here, I guess. Only that. Ooh. I can unload all this stuff in here. Keep those arrows on me. Oh my god, I'm starting to feel successful. We got a house. We got stuff. We got stuff for making more stuff. Giant cave full of metals. We're set. Just put a no bears allowed sign up in your yard. I probably should. I think you can make signs in this game. I think. I'm not positive, but I think you can. Oh, that didn't overload me. That's weird. I'm taking the stone bench with me, too. Who knows when that might be handy. Those can keep smelting. This is already empty. We're good. We're good. All right, I know we uh, we pretty much wasted this entire stream uh, with... Oh, God. That wolf didn't see... I got past that wolf so fast, he didn't even see me. Ha <laughs> uh, ha! We kind of wasted the stream with just a multitude of deaths and this uh, elaborate overbuilding that we really didn't need to do. Severe wins. Make sure all this is closed up. I don't want my stuff getting broken. Uh, but I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight, I think. When we come back next time, we'll, uh, we'll start working on... Uh, um, building out the rest of the benches that we're going to need to get the base equipment we're going to need in order to go out and do this drilling mission and then hopefully tomorrow we'll get to we'll get the drilling mission completed also get it all, get it all in one big fell swoop with any luck uh, I'm going to need, need more room to put stuff down so many things <laughs> my god we have so much stuff this is crazy Crazy, man. It's crazy. Anyway, thanks everyone for coming to hang out tonight. Really appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out with you while you uh, got eaten by the wa local wildlife. Hopefully we're now in a secure enough spot where they're not going to be so much of a pain anymore. Uh, but thank you so much. I'm as always Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.